Hello, gamers. Where are my sunglasses? It is kind of bright in this room. Hey, what's going on, gamers? My name is Stanley557. Welcome back to another stream. It is only like a million degrees outside in the sun in Florida, and I am currently dying. So, welcome back to another amazing Call of Duty Zombies live stream, where we just get to jump in and we get to do a bunch of really cool, stupid stuff. So, you know, we are going to play Call of Duty Zombies like we always do on this channel. And by golly, are we going to win? Because I'm not a loser. Anyways, I took a shower like 20 minutes ago and my hair is literally destroyed. So, you know what? This is, this is what we're going with today on today's stream. You guys get to see um, a little bit behind the mask of where I go to work in a million degree weather. So, anyways, Michael, that better not be you from work. If it is, um, I'm banning you from the stream right now. Anyways, welcome everyone today. We have with us today Tato, Aiden, Will the Thrill, Not Newbie, Scorch. How are you doing, Scorch? Tanya, Hooded, Wiki, John, Blue Jays, Michael, Mod, Vanessa, Nikki G. So welcome. I'm playing RE7 on Madhouse. It's actually a lot of fun. Bro, we got those bogos binted? Nah, we got them photos printed. So let's just do this. It's time to kill Willard Weiler, and as always, we're not going to be using Director's Cut, because Director's Cut is for absolute losers, unlike me, because I'm not a loser. That's why we're going to die in round, like, two or something, so. Okay, it works, we're good. Wait, oh, I should be the Hoff. What am I doing? We can be Hoff. That's so silly of me. So, let's do this. Um, where is my Hoff code? All right, there it is. Left, right, left, up, down, cool. Okay. Hey, Trenton, how are you doing? Michael from work is a menace, bro. Michael is an absolute menace. Do not let that man in my stream. Hey, the demon within, welcome to the stream. Sans Deltarune? No, more like, um, we don't need Sans Deltarune. We need more like, uh, whatever his name is from Big Shot Guy. I don't even know what his name is from Deltarune Chapter 2. That guy, Undertale. Hey, Lucky Fox. The Exquisite on the Banshee is surprisingly good. That's what I've heard. The gun we're going to be doing this all with today, we're going to be using the EMC pistol, which apparently is really good against the alien. So let's just jump right into it. Spamton, that's his name. Thank you. It has been so long since I have even heard anyone talk about Deltarune. So. Hey, Sunbro, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Michael from Works is a Menace. Bro, he is a demon. Hey, Paro. Spamton G Spamton, the 99 cent off of all time. Oh my gosh, he's cheap now. You know, I got worried. I was gonna look over, like I was gonna look over at my like screen, and I was gonna like realize I was in director's cut. Hey Vanessa, I'm playing Near Replicant right now. Nice. Isn't that one of like the same game series as like Near Automaton or something? I don't know. I don't keep up with Near. I guess you could say it's not near and dear to my heart. Back on Spaceland, Kara, it's a curse. We just gotta play it at this point. There's not much left we can do. Wasn't Delta in Chapter 3 supposed to be out by now? Apparently, if I'm not mistaken, near Chapter 3, or near, Delta Rune is supposed to be 3, 4, and 5 all coming out at the same time. That's what I've heard. Near Spiegel to Automaton? Cool. Yeah, I gotcha. Chapter 3 or 5? Yeah, they're releasing this year, which is really cool. Hey, Tav, I missed anything. Also, Poggers are playing as the Hoff. We have to. How could we not play as them? Also, I need to find where the EMC pistol is. I don't know where that is. So, we're going to have to find that out, gamers. I'll take that as a win. No, dude, 25 out of 40 points is still really good. But yeah, I mean, if anything, Nikki G, like, you know, I think it was really good that you put yourself out there for the map contest, though, because, like, it also, like, helps you, like, get a better idea of how to map in the future, which I think is really cool. EMC is box exclusive. Of course it is! Why wouldn't it be? I'll have to figure that out later. Okay, well, that's going to be a problem. Um, another time. Anyways, Blue Jays, I haven't seen a hot moment. How are you doing, man? One of the endings leads to Automaton, but it's one of... You did not just tell me there's 26 endings to that game. Because <laughs> if there is, um, why? Okay, let's go. Stanley streams are basically the Wolven 5 film. They're better. They are so much better than the Wolven 5 film could ever 
choose to be. Why am I so small? There we go. There's an ending for every letter of the alphabet? Oh, okay, cool. Hey, are you telling me that your package came in the mail? What did they mean by that exactly? And of course it's mail. Hmm. Bro, good morning, USA. Um, we're well past um, simple American dad memes. Why would I ever... Good morning, USA. I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. Oh, I'm so happy that was insta kill. Little Stanley, yeah, Kara. What do you got, Kara? Oh my god. They added superpowers to DMZ. I saw for the uh, event. Don't you have to actually buy the skins, though, to, like, use the powers, if I'm not mistaken? I could be wrong entirely. But, like, that's the way that I understand it, right? Xbox got the funny edition of a funny fighting game on Game Pass. Blaze Blue. Oh, the, yeah, that's made by the guys, if I'm not mistaken, who made, um... Oh, I'm wrong. Never mind. <laughs> I lied. Sorry. Basically, it's cross-tag battle. It has Persona characters and Ruby characters. Ah, <laughs> the best of both worlds. The skins are purely cosmetic. I would not have expected that from Activision. Wow. For some reason, I thought that, like, the superpowers, I saw it because I was so used to, like, what they've been doing with recent stuff where, like, you have to, like, buy a pack to get, like, super, like special bonuses. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I lied to you. How could I? Um, I would never lie. In fact, I am straight gaming. Like how the Hoffman, they, like how hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes were in the Knight Rider with Hoff throwing haymakers in fight scenes. I'm so happy someone knows this stuff. Because, like, this is all stuff that flies right over my head. Ooh, gas grenades. I really want those. <laughs> I kind of want them. I want to put it past them. Yeah. Hey, Zesty. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Looks like I completely whiffed that basketball shot. Please. Dear Lord. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Currently, we're going for the Exquisite Core, which, if you don't know, is this fancy little thing right next to the Neil name. Why didn't that activate? There we go. Cool. And that's because of hyperfixation. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Hey, happens to everyone. Happens to the best of us, some might even say. But to get the Exquisite Core, we have to do a lot of different things. And by a lot of different things, we pretty much just have to open up the map and do all the UFOs. That's all we have to do. It's not too difficult. But we are going to have to do the Easter Egg. And apparently, we need to get it on the EMC, as it's really good in the boss fight. So we're going to need about 900 tickets, which is really going to suck nuts. Yeah, everyone's expecting Easter Eggs that aren't zombies. So true, Kara. But yeah, honestly, if you guys are in my chat, it's most likely that you all have a hyperfixation on a really stupid game. Particularly, the game would be Call of Duty Zombies. Or at the very least, you're a casual player. And if you're a casual player of zombies, then you might actually be free from the curse. <laughs> oh, no. So close. But yeah, um, I think the thing I didn't really think about is how we're going to pull that EMC from the box. I guess we're just going to figure that out later but i'm fully expecting that this game to last a very long time because not only do we have to get it we also have to use it from the box too so that's not good did you get red versus blue is getting a final season and bernie burns is coming back to the direct i did not know that i also didn't think red versus blue was still happening is that nice to say because i thought that it went down in flames and they stopped making it like, is that mean? Is that mean-spirited? I don't know. Because, like, I thought, like, they weren't working on it anymore. So. LeBron James, how's the Michael, how's the IW review going? It's going well. A little slow. Um, every time I start the script, I don't want to work on it, if that makes sense. Where it's like, I just kind of get bored. And by bored, I am exhausted from work. So... It's like, what do I want to spend my time doing? Do I want to work on the IW review, which I do enjoy doing? Or do I want to just go to sleep and not talk to anybody? And like, you know, exhaust my body, which is like deflating like a balloon. 
Maybe I stop after season 15. If the show is 15 seasons, there's your problem. There we go. Okay. Literally thought it was funny that Transit is one of the most maps played ever. It's so sad that it is, cause just because it was in BO2. So like it had like the the recency, but not recency. It had the the placement bias of being the game that a bunch of different people got to play. So a lot of people have some very good memories with it. Nothing wrong with that. But there is just so much better than Transit. You can do so much better than that map. That's the problem. Where's my LeBron James skin? I'm pretty sure if I put on a LeBron James skin, I think that would be considered racist. So we're not going to do that. It's 17. <laughs> Why do you have 17 seasons? Why? I, I didn't think the show could go on for that long. What other content is there to talk about for the red versus blue? You have to put those two colors together to make purple. Like, don't they know that already? Just paint some colors. It's already over. Show's plot's done. Yeah, isn't it like a really like super serious like show? And like, like they actually just like fully animate the show now or something like that. Cause the only time I ever engaged with Red vs. Blue was when I was like 10 in fourth grade when like they had like the text fight. That's all I know about the show. I don't know anything else about it. I thought it was cool. It had some cool music and animation. I was like, wow, this is cool. And I never watched it again because my life Went down the zombies path instead, so my hyperfixation could be totally different. And I could be watching a Rooster Teeth show. Thank God I don't, and the show's not called Ruby, because that would be really, really bad. Please stop. Thank you. Okay. At least the first 13 were good. That is so shocking. What is Red vs. Blue? It's basically a TV show. TV show, I call it. It's an online internet show by a group called um, Rooster Teeth. And it's basically a show based off of Halo, where they made it when they were, like, guys and, like, just living in, like, their mom's basement, basically. Essentially making, like, scripted content based off of Halo. And then it kind of came, like, a little TV show they were able to make, because it got really popular. Family Guy is 33 seasons. Family Guy is also syndicated by a company called Fox, a multi-billion dollar company. Rooster Teeth has, like, two dollars to their name, plus, like, a raccoon. <laughs> Got fond memories of transit. Yes, that's what I'm trying to talk about. Like, a lot of people played it. So, a lot of people really do enjoy it. Nothing wrong with that. I just think there's a lot better. Hey, Eclipse. It's been a while. How are you, man? Good to see you. I've got better memories of other maps. Hey, there's nothing wrong with having fond memories of transit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It means that you enjoyed it with friends. And that is amazing. Think that Deviation Project is canceled? I think it absolutely is at this point. You don't lay off 60% of your, like, employee... I think it was 60 or 60. I don't remember which one it was. 60%. But whatever happened, you don't lay off that many employees and still, like, make your game, if that makes sense. Like, that, that's a bit of a red flag all around. So, whatever is happening with that studio... Dear Lord. Like... It, 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 I think it's what, like it's very obvious that there's been a lot of trouble development with what happened with them, if that makes sense. And that obviously um, a lot went down in their studio. That caused things not to work out the way they are supposed to. Ooh, the music's way too loud. There we go. Much better. Um, when something initially works, people tend to cling to it until it stops working entirely. That's fair. Kid Stanley is drinking his apple juice while explaining to the class why um, there are two different Rick Toms and the teacher asking him to please sit down. Oh, wait, to please sit. Yeah, sit down. No, I, I never initially would talk to teachers about stuff because I wasn't a weird kid that would like think the class wanted to hear me talk about Call of Duty Zombies. I wasn't that kid. I kind of stayed in my own lane. I didn't care what anyone thought of me. Which I'd say is pretty self-evident to how I run things now in my life. Got my own issue with Rooster Teeth, mainly how they treat their management. I thought it was how they treat their, treated their employees, but I could be wrong. Rooster Teeth, I'm wondering where I've heard that before, Stanley. Uh huh, let's forget the fact that I've watched all seasons of Ruby in a short amount of time for season 9. Uh huh, yeah, okay. Wait, Stanley, I thought you already did the video for Space Line. Are you doing footage for our future reviews? No, um, someone suggested that I actually go through and, and try the Exquisite Core, so. 
that's what I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna see how it goes. My man, I fractured my left foot at work the other day. I've been hobbling around the house. It's tough, but glad to be here for stream. Well, I'm glad to hear. How did you fracture your foot at work? Because I'm kind of curious now. Because I feel like fracturing your foot at work doesn't just happen randomly. Recently got Pikachu the first time, and every time I've tried to play Transit, it's crashed. That's weird. Um, I want to get that checked out. <laughs> I'm making a re-review. -re yeah, how'd you know? You all are still watching Ruby. L life. Yeah, Kara. I'm sorry. L life. Also, nothing else is coming out for her, Kara. It's okay. It's just that Vanessa wants to talk about. It's like one of the two things that she is in love with. So, can't can't blame her for that. Ooh, what's my favorite mastery camo? Ooh, um, I think the easy answer is actually IWs because it's given to you for free, so you don't have to go for it. Nor do I have to waste um, like a million hours of my life trying to get a camo. Um, but besides that, I I think it might be Dark Ether from Cold War. I really enjoy the way that you get Dark Ether. Okay, I hate the process. I love the camo. Camo looks phenomenal. And the fact that you can also put it like both like on a pack punch gun and an on pack punch gun, like with the click of a button, makes it infinitely better than BO4s and BO3s. BO3s, you only get it for unpacked guns, and BO4s, it's on it no matter what even when you do pack the gun so i think cold war does a super nice compromise that entirely gives you the choice of how you want to actually use it which i think is really cool yo i found a room full of magic gathering cards at my house did you say a room full why is there a room Stanley, you start donating plasma at a facility near you. The first time takes hours to set up, but it permits you 100 each visit, and you can donate once a week. I didn't know that. I know plasma is pretty important to have. My dad donates blood and plasma all the time. But I've never done it myself. Usually in the situations that I'm in, I'm typically in a rush or at college, I'm going home, and there's no one else to drive me in case something happens to me. But I've been meaning to. I really do want to. No, the part two of the DC crossover was announced. Oh, was it? Oh, cool. Nice. That took them forever. I never saw that DC crossover. Was it? Oh, okay. Well, okay. Now we have to go for this. We could get the EMC. I've gotten this stupid weapon more than enough times. I just need to get it normally for once. When's the second Space Lane review? You mean the re-re-review? Once we get to the re-re-re-review, then I might re-re-re-review the game, okay? We'll see what happens. Also, um, I... There, I'm never re-reviewing this game again. I hope I don't have to. That would be that would suck a lot. <sighs> would be so cool if I got it. Positive about IW blasphemy. That's not the the popular opinion to the depths with you. I think the popular opinion now is a lot more people, at the very least, IW fans give this game a lot more credit than the standard fan does. But at the end of the day, Zombies is a bit of an echo chamber. And, you know, I think it's more important that I don't really care what the popular or unpopular opinion is. This is my opinion. The common, the common people who play these games don't really care. Like, we care about this stuff way more than any normal person ever should. So, which I think is decently self-evident of the way that the community carries itself and its opinions. And also, if you just look at, like, how much people care about COD Zombies, it's so minimal compared to, like, the way people will make you think you're supposed to care about, if that makes sense. It's a little weird. Got the Big Bang Camo Challenge on the M79 Cold War before it got made easier. Oh, is that the one where you get to get, like, 750 five kills in a row or something like that? It was, like, yeah. Stanley 5S7, a channel running the Dementia Special. I don't remember making that. Hey, um, Seshreb, welcome. Why is Black Ops 4 your favorite game, including Tog and Alpha Omega? I like Tog a lot. I think the design of Tog is great. The level layout is really good. It's a beautiful map, and it's fun to play. It gives you a ton of stuff to do and rewards you for exploring the map. Also, it's difficult. Like, it's probably the hardest to set up on map because it requires you to do a lot of setup. And I think that's pretty important for a Zombies map that a lot of BO4 maps are actually missing. Um, but I like BO4's gameplay a lot. It's personally my favorite, but it is extremely flawed. There are a ton of issues with it, but a lot of issues that I just kind of look past because I've played the game enough where they don't really affect me. Like, the spawn system is 
annoying and it's probably the worst it's been in the series but i know how to work around it well enough that it rarely impacts my gameplay if that makes sense whereas something like um world war ii i don't play enough and iw don't play enough so that well i think it's more annoying like there's a lot of stuff in those games that i find more annoying oh i could have gotten this stuff all right ufo time but no i think that the selections of the maps that i do like i like I think BO4 is my highest selection of maps that I enjoy the most. Like, my favorites are, from the game, are Voyage 9, Classified, um, and Tog, and Ancient Evil. I think every map has something unique to offer, and I think the idea that there's two storylines is a fun concept, even if it's extremely flawed, and brings the game down a ton. I think that overambition hurts the game more than anything, and a lack of polish is probably what did it in most of the time. It had a lot of promises too, and I think it's a lot of fun, but it has so much holding it back at the exact same time. It's a very diverse subject for me, but I'd say that it's still consistently the game that I play and I have the most fun with. Zombies being an echo chamber is an understatement. Yeah, that's really rare. And I think it's, I think it's pretty self-evident if you just pay attention to the subreddit or the Twitter community or the Instagram community, if there even is one. I'd say that Zombies is spinning its wheels right now because the entire game is run off of Call of Duty nostalgia because the only people who play Zombies and who have played it in the past were people who played it because they played multiplayer. They're big campaign players. So you get a lot of people in the community that, well, they love Zombies, but they've played... They know the snapshots of the game mode, and I think the game mode is so much more than that. And if it was able to break away from the Call of Duty cycle i think it could do really well on its own or it could fail it's entirely up to how the community would view it and if it could even get that popular appeal that it desperately needs but i'd say that if you look at videos that are the most popular in zombies it's stuff like juggernaut monkey bombs hellhounds richtofen group 935 element 115 it's typically the most basic kind of stuff that i'd say is it's pretty representative of a game that does not reach a deeper audience, at least a wide deeper audience, unlike something like Metal Gear or, um, I'm trying to think of other examples. Um, like what other like popular games that like people play and that a lot of people like to go into God of War, Spider-Man. I'd say that Zombies has the potential to reach that large of an audience, but at the same time, it doesn't. And I say it's a shame, but at the end of the day, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. You can't force people to like a game. And I think that a lot of its issues is that it has a hard staying power with people. Would you say IW is worth it to buy for zombies? I really want to since I'm done every single Easter egg and all zombies, but I also don't know if I want to buy a full game just for zombies. If you want my opinion, you really don't. I only play Call of Duty for zombies, and I'd say it's absolutely worth it if you can get it on sale. I'd say $60 for the full game plus the DLC is a good deal. $120 for... You know, part of your package deal is Beast from Beyond. That's not really worth it. Is Beast from Beyond worth about $20 to you? I'd say no. And that, wait, 20? No, it's about 25, 25, what am I doing? About $25. And I'd say it's definitely not. Remember everyone, if you see Stanley in real life, scream as loud as you can. Oh my God, it's a zombie YouTuber who loves Wage for everyone to hear. I think people would love that. That's pre-patched, I know. Hooded. Hey, Rick Tom's Revenge, I saw you in Noah's stream. Hey, Neil Smith. Well, the Cod Zombie storyline is extremely brain-boiling. Yes, and I think that what they did with Cold War is a good first step to kind of work work back what's happened. Now, it's, it's entirely up to Craig and the writing team if they want to make the exact same mistakes that they did with Aether. If they do, there's no helping them. But I don't think they're going to. I think it's pretty self-evident that they've kind of got their head on their shoulders and they know the way that they want to present the story. But if they go back to the way they told it before, Zombies is doomed. And it will never be able to reach that wider audience appeal. Simple is what it should be going for at the moment. Ooh. At least BO4 um, brought the health cap. I love health cap. That's a great way to introduce high rounds to a more casual audience. Even if you do stuff like super sprinters and more damage to make it harder. Which is a good compromise. We literally are turning our, our opinions into multi-hour videos for content. We definitely care too much about this. Yeah, that's true. 
Voyage is a banger map. I know. Ignore objective, ignore objectivity, embrace bias. There you go. Guys, if you don't like my favorite map, um, get off my channel. Here's the thing, Mr. Stanley. Space Link could be peak if you could double pack a punch without the Easter egg. You, it really would be. That's a sad part. Hey, buddy. And I'd say that these games are most fun and enjoyed when you're constantly playing them, when you're learning from them and you're always, you know, going for new things. But for a multiplayer community, multiplayer is a five minute game. Why would any multiplayer player with, f with you know, five cents of a brain even consider playing the same map multiple times? It just doesn't make sense to most people. That would be like playing the same level in a video game multiple times. And I don't think Zombies is built for that kind of casual audience. It's built for people who want to play the same level multiple times. Oh my God. Please get it. Ah. Hey, buddy. Also, I love the glare effect on his laser. Why does it do that? <laughs> Thing zombies um, need to reach a larger, larger audience is that they need to come out with zombie exclusive games, which would include all the past maps and new ones. That's not a bad idea. Although I do think that if you just include past maps, it completely drowns out anything new. As I think that nostalgia is very heavy for zombies players. If you ask me, I think that Zombies play Zombies is at its best when the audience doesn't know what it wants. And I'd say that that's... If you look at games like, you know, BO4 or Cold War or even just BO3, whenever the game tries to experiment with new things and they're always testing the audience and making them try new things, I think that's how you get good games. Obviously, BO4 sucks. But I'd say that Cold War found a better formula and a better mix for those concepts. Have the gold teeth, what? I almost died. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Hey, comes on enthusiast. Stanley, any tips for videos? Hit me. What do you got? Now, do you need like tips specifically, or do you want me to help you give you some tips? I can do both. Shipment players are attacked right now. Yeah, shipment sucks. Hot take. It's, it's bad map, but I also get the idea. It's literally the fastest action that you can get in COD. But I'd say that zombies, at least. Zombies hits a better middle ground between being completely obnoxious with its gameplay, but at the same time also like telling players like, hey, slow down and like experience like, you know, and try and figure, solve things out. Figure them out. Learn from your mistakes and try again, which I think directly clashes with a very multiplayer oriented audience. And I think that's why Zombies struggles to compete with multiplayer consistently. Unless it's a map that's very simple, like Kino or D-Machine, which I'd say D-Machine has been the most popular the series has been, in my opinion, since Kino. Or uh, since Transit, I guess, would be a better example. Do you think Blundell might have left because of conflicts with Budget and Activision, as I don't believe you've ever, um, he would have ever left since the Anthony H.E. Evil references the next Chaos Match for BO2 Season 2? Um, I think he was fired, which is... The clues that trigger us to that is that the game not only didn't do very well, the entire game was riding on his shoulders to do well and it being a failure rests entirely on probably a lot of his decision making of saying guys trust me this is a good idea and activision kind of giving him that ultimatum of okay we'll trust you but this is your name on the line if the game doesn't do well then it's your ass and if you look at what happened to blundell a lot of his decisions that happened were probably caused because he believed that they were good ideas or that, you know, the community would come to love them in the future. His ideas aren't very Activision oriented. They require a lot of time to pass. And I'd say that can be most seen with BO4 and BO3, where you need more time to digest a story. You need more time to understand its nuances and develop a fan base. It can't be a multi-billion dollar franchise in a day. The problem is, Call of Duty needs to do that. It, at least it thinks it does. It needs to do that because it's supposed to be the leading innovator in the market. Call of Duty, and specifically Zombies, is great years down the line, where the only reason why people are still buying these old titles is because they love Zombies. No one's buying COD because of multiplayer. Those servers are dead or hacked. No one's buying Call of Duty for campaign. Most people already played it. 
they're buying it for zombies, an infinitely replayable mode that's a sandbox of things to do, and it's always testing you to come back and try new things. I think that's what Blundell's entire philosophy followed behind. It wasn't a bad philosophy, but I think it's self-evident of what happened to him that it wasn't the best decision to make at that time, as Activision needed a hit, and Blundell is not that type of person. He has very strong ideas and a strong conviction of what he wants to do. But that doesn't mean that his ideas are crowd pleasers, far from it, and I don't think that he was the right director for BO4. And him being fired is very self-evident of his process backfiring right in his face, pretty much. But yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> Alright, let's read some more comments now. Super Mario 3 World um, makes you beat the game five times, every level beaten with all five characters for 100%. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get... Same thing with 3D Land, where you gotta beat every level with Luigi once you unlock him. I love 3D Land. A tip, you can fill the UFO and it'll stay a soul box forever until filled. You can do a marathon around the map and you're getting tra tra trap kills in one go. Yeah, I know. I'd rather just get it out of the way now and deal with it later. When I first um, played Space, I didn't know uh, there was a giant gator mouth came down, so it killed me. Yeah, uh, that happened to me too. <laughs> I saw it in the trailer, but I didn't think it actually would kill me. Stanley, when I say when I say it, when I mean this, domination on shipment is more crueler than hell itself, especially in World War II. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Yeah, because the people who play shipment are mouth breeders, but you know, that's just me. Vanguard shipment was fun for the most part. People loved it because of the camo challenges and fast EXP. Exactly. Um, I'd say that that's where Call of Duty is always at a crossroads with itself, where it's trying to be like Fortnite, where it's always trying to like introduce stuff and be like the next big thing in gaming. But at the exact same time, it's also trying to be like, it needs to be like replayable to the point where people don't feel like they're wasting their money on it. And it's always in competition with its own self at the end of the day. It's having a consistent identity crisis. And Call of Duty will always be failing as long as they're trying to copy what's the next big thing. I think them trying to copy Fortnite has just not been working out for them. Like, hey guys, who was who was gonna buy the Donnie Darko bundle in um in in Cold War? Who wants that bundle? I don't think a lot of people did. Where's my orb? There she blows. Anyone that says yes, you're lying. And if you wanted it, then hey, you know what? I can't stop you. Maybe it is more popular than I'm giving you credit for. But, like, you know, they're doing stuff with the boys. They've done other collaborations. And I'd say that it's... Mm, is that the direction that Call of Duty should be going? I'd say no. But that's just me. 15 zombies to fill up the UFO. 20 zombies for Soul Box. 35 zombies to get a core. Cool. Idea for a multiplayer map. It's literally just a single hallway, and each team spawns on either side facing each other. It's not a bad idea. But that sounds like a one door, like a one, like a one window challenge in zombies, but just, you know, one hallway. Also, it seems like people will just be hard scoping down a lane and spawn camping. That's just me. I suppose um, that's what BO4 is going for with a perk. Load yeah, it's all about custom. It's always about constant custom. Why am I even doing that? I'm not even building the pistols. It's all about cu constant customization and trying new things. Oh, so what did you think about the two-minute boss fight? It was very fast. I was surprised. But, I mean, you told me you were going to do it, so. So it makes me pretty confident in what I'm doing right now. Modern COD sucks. Cold War was a once-in-a-decade thing for Modern COD. Vanguard, both MWs, and all the MW remasters suck. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. And again, I'd say that most of that is because I think Treyarch is Activision's golden child. At least they're the most consistent. Whereas I feel like... It's, Infinity Ward and especially Sledgehammer are definitely dead weight. And I feel like that it, this is the teams aren't able to come together to create something special, whereas I think Treyarch has the right people for the job. They have a good mix of people, and I think it's very apparent in their releases. Trying to unlock Damascus and I know you 2020 2019 was nothing but pain. Why would you do that? Please let me in. Hey, Wyatt, how are you? My biggest dream in a new zombies map is a gravity globe type weapon that can shift some parts of the map, linking both weapons and map, and can lead to fun Easter eggs for linking to that one. I love that idea. That sounds awesome. 
Fortnite was a natural hit, and COD is like a person yelling down the street, demanding attention, but everyone knows not to give it to him. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. Wait, they're actually doing a boys crossover? They are. It's a real thing. But it it consistently reeks of Activision following trends and being like, oh, guys, we're Fortnite. We can do Fortnite. Quick, what IPs can we buy licenses from? And that's 100% what it feels like. And it is so sad to watch sometimes. Because they're just, if they keep telling themselves that they're like Fortnite, maybe that they'll believe that they are or they get the same success as it. But I think it's just, it's not the same. I think that everyone can see right through that. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I thought that was not working. And everyone can see through it. And that's what's so sad about it. I would like the Ninja Turtles to be in Fortnite. While I like Fortnite, I could prefer the devs to try for some cool and original skins. Yeah. Stanley, I'm struggling with how to start an outro and end the video. Um, the best way, go with like what you were taught in middle school and high school with like thesis papers, you know, just restate the sentence basically. Restate your thesis statement. And try and like, you know, so for example, what game are you covering now? You know, if, I think it was, which game again? Run. And I'll help you work on it from there. BO2? Yeah. So then you really want to wrap it up with, you know, I, you know, I think BO2 is a really, like, you know, and try and like restate a lot of your points that you really like about BO2. What do you think is fun about the game? And kind of give it a conclusion. Now, unless you're just doing an actual outro. I say that's an anomaly in zombies. Okay. Well, then figure out the best way to say it. Like, you know, I believe BO2 is a mixed bag of features and maps. While I think that there's some really good directions and points with some maps, other maps completely suffer due to X, Y, and Z. Although I think BO2 is well worth people's time, and I think that maps like Buried are aging like fine wine and are absolute steel to pick up. And try and like phrase it like that. Like try and like, you know, figure out how you're gonna re-talk about what you talk about in the video. Activision's making an embarrassment of themselves. Yeah, absolutely. And it is embarrassing to be a fan of Call of Duty constantly. Where'd it go? There it is. Speaking of BO2. <laughs> oh, come on. I know this thing is almost done. There you go. <laughs> oh, I almost interacted with the arcade machine there. That could have been so bad. All right, let's go underground. We'll loop back around. When I hear someone say Cold War, MP was like MW2018, I start to lose my mind. I never played either, so I can't tell you how good or bad they are. Cold War wasn't even that, even that good. It's a mix of previous ideas, kind of like revelations, but bigger and more in gameplay perspective. How would you say exactly? Because I think Cold War is really good. In fact, I made a three and a half hour video on it. But I think Cold War is a lot of fun. I think it's a good stepping ground. But we've also got to understand the very, very specific and tight circumstances that Treyarch was under. And I think that what they produced was still really good. Although, I think that it's going to be up to what happens next game that's going to entirely prove, was Cold War a fluke? Was it, was it a specific statue of its circumstances? Or is it actually just not that good and that Treyarch doesn't have a whole lot of good ideas behind their name anymore? I think that the next game is going to be very telling of what's going to happen. Halo Infinite is actually really good. Launch was just bad. Okay. Hmm. I never played Halo Infinite, but cool. Oh, right. I got the crystal. That's why I'm doing that. Right. You have to get the crystal. I think Fortnite is not that fun, but success is crazy. That's the thing. You might not like it, but you can't deny that. It's a very successful game. Hey, all the LBO2 theme plays in the background, of course. Hey, that's just kind of like the luck that I have on these streams, you know? That's the way things go. Here's another hot take. Um, I missed that comment. World of War isn't good. Knocked and Baruch slow start. Shinonuma's end. Darisa, the only room in quality. And even then, it has been remade so much. I think that's a little bit of a disservice to World of War. 
And kind of like the whole knocked kind of, you know, conundrum. It's harder to rate the first game in something when it is very clearly them just testing the waters. But you're not wrong. I do think World of War is aged the worst, but that's also to be expected. It's a lot harder to pin the blame on the old man when the old man, you know, he's an old man. And what he... Felt my life flashing before my eyes. <laughs> Activision is a Steam Buscemi clip. How do you do, fellow kids? Yeah, pretty much. Hey, um, Vizok, welcome. The fact that it may be possible to play as Homelander in this year's COD Zombies mode is so stupid it isn't even funny anymore. Yeah, that's another thing, too. The fact that we're going to be able to play as him in Zombies? You just bit of a collar pull over there. You have a good night, Zesty. Hey, um, Carborow. You didn't get the particle? Yeah. You mean the crystal, right? Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, oh unless you mean like the orb. Yeah, I was running right back around for the orb. No, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> NW19MP was a solid basis with some of the worst design decisions I've ever seen in an FPS game. Okay. Huh. Cold War MP is just campers with trophy systems, so you can't flush them out with explosives, and you can't even see them because of realistic environments, so they blend in and murk your crosshairs. That's something I didn't like, was how realistic the environments look. I don't like the way realistic COD looks, like modern COD. Um, I think Treyarch does the art style the best, but I don't like the way the MW games look. They look just bad. They're also going to age poorly, whereas I feel like Treyarch's games, especially BO3, age very well with its art design. Even if the art design isn't consistent with the future, it just looks fun to play in. It doesn't look like, you know, trash. Bye-bye. Speaking of BO3, man, how am I doing this today? Oh, it's not random. Oh my goodness. No wonder why it was playing the same songs. I was like, why did it just go from Damned 2 to Damned 3? That is the reason why. Yeah, whatever. I think World 2 has a lot of cool ideas. I love that Sledgehammer leaned to the horror aspect, but it did have some things that held it down, but I don't think it deserved the hate it got. Well, give it time, and I think that Vanguard will be pretty much received the exact same way. In the same way, IW, World War II, and BO4, and Cold War have all developed their own little niches. It's also very apparent that Call of Duty is very fractured as a franchise. And the more games that they continue to release, the more different camps it's going to create. Of uh, people being like, well, what about X game? Or X game is really good. I like this game. Do you not like this one? And I'd say that very much like American politics, it's very easy to divide ourselves. And at the end of the day, we're all playing Call of Duty. Who cares what flavor you're playing of COD, as long as you're enjoying it. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> How did that not fill it up? Also, I did beat Mayday. Um, with the Relic? Nice, cool. I assume you're going after the Arcane course. You just did Extreme on Extinction. I would too, because they are inspired by the ammo types in Extinction. Actually, no. There's no Reflector ammo type, right? That's not crazy. Oh, these don't count. Of course, clouds don't count. It's not shocking me in the slightest. Hey, Golem! So why did the course, the Space Limit Review, never come back to other maps? We, I don't know. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, for circumstance, Treyarch were bad then with them being dragged out of a, out like a mop for Sledgehammer. So even then, I still feel like Cold War wasn't that good. Hey, mop, there's nothing wrong with that, man. If you don't think Cold War is good, hey, nothing wrong with that. That is entirely up to your opinion. As long as you, like, understand that Treyarch was being, like, you know, was, you know, having a rough development cycle, but you still don't like the game, hey, perfectly fine. As long as you acknowledge it and understand that development is not easy. Every zombie that wasn't Treyarch was hated at launch massively except Exos and then was immediately ignored. Yeah, I don't know why Exos got away with that, but I think that is entirely because Exos was the first new zombies and people didn't have to wait, you know, three years for a new entry, so... I'm gonna at least pin some of the love for, like, the immediate love for Exos on that. No. Okay. X game? X? No. Had a great idea. Zombies map were with heavy Norse mythology and the Easter eggs you're doing Ragnarok and finding a god or Norse creature. I would say that's BO4, but you got, I think BO4 would have to build up to that. I think with crazier ideas like that, you either have to produce the game out of the gate like that, like God of War, or you make Zombies its own title and you work your way up to that storyline. Hey Alex, how are you? 
Please don't tell me I heard a <laughs> boy spawning. That'd be really bad if he did. And this is why we have like three of these set up around the map. Go. Sports games are worse than COD. They really are. Hey, didn't I place down a boombox? Why aren't you? Okay, you're not even near the boombox. <laughs> okay, cool, buddy. <laughs> no set cast? Yeah, shame, right? Cool. Cold War is the worst good zombies by respect how friendly it is to noobs and Pack-a-Punch never being annoying to set up. So, yeah, understandable. Nothing wrong with that opinion. But you're not wrong. Cold War, I think like every um, non-Treyarch entry has a lot of glaring setbacks. Actually, sorry, BO4 has a lot of glaring setbacks. What am I saying? Where do you get, get from? Uh-oh. Okay, this is really bad now. Hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. How is BO4 the beginning of Ragnarok? No, I meant like with the way that BO4 kind of builds up its storyline. Because with something like Ragnarok, you can't just make a map like that you have to entirely set up a storyline okay um this is really bad now okay time to get into like stupid mode and like try a bit more okay hmm you know maybe running all the way down to spawn was not the smartest idea hmm. if we're all playing cod we still lose because it's cod yeah that's a good way to look at it I wreck Bozo. Okay. Let me through. Thank you. Okay. We're good. Wow. I'm so happy we're stuck with the fire core. Arguably the worst. Cool. Okay. We're good. See chat? <laughs> Nothing wrong here. If only you had some running medic who could who um, who could who could run over and heal you. Shut up. Cold War is good, but I feel like the biggest problem is the environment. All of them just feel stereotypical military bases, or and now we're saying a stereotypical city. Yeah, that was something I threw it at a lot of the maps, specifically Firebase. I think Firebase is I think the most egregious. There is really nothing going on besides a military base, and it is extremely boring because of it. Tell me in all seriousness, though, with what I just said about the cores being based on the extra ammo types, does the head cutter seriously invoke the feeling of firing wind bullets? No, not at all. I don't really know how to compare those two. Did I lose my fire core? Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> I was gonna say. My hot take is Zombies was fa failing as soon as BO3 started, making setup way too hard for noobs besides DE or The Giant, which are both DLC. Absolutely. But you also look at Blundell's philosophy. A lot of people identify very well with Shadows of Evil, and it's grown very well with a hardcore community. But hardcore does not mean anything if a casual player can't jump in and play it. And it's probably one of the biggest criticisms that's been thrown Shadows' way. Not to mention Cold War uh, um, is a blatantly obvious that the maps are reused like World at War, but World at War covered up a bit better. I think that what the problem is, like, you can do what World at War did, but then you hit the other criticism that the maps are too small and there's nothing going on. I think at the end of the day, Treyarch was more than happy presenting the map still really big, even if they were going to reuse assets. They were willing to take that evil then, the maps, there's nothing on them, if they had to reuse very little and make very small maps. That was kind of the evil that they picked and chose. Yo, know, Stan, did the Xbox came out swinging in day two of the Activision acquisition trial? I did not. I don't really follow that. All I know is, is that they're, um, they got away with something. And they're able to, I think they're missing one thing from the UK and they can do what they want to do. I think they meant something like Origins, where each step is based off an event that leads up to Ragnarok. Oh, okay. Okay. I understand that. So you build the story in the map. I think the only issue is, is that, like, zomb it, you would make it very quest-oriented, which is the exact issue that later games kind of ran into with zombies, if that makes sense. And a lot of games were later canned for, was for following quest lines to... I 
I'm so happy I'm recording that. Why I tried, I'm not joking, for hours to get that clip for the, um, for a clip like that, for the video, and I could not replicate it. And then the, okay, <laughs> this is the situation that we're in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out, aren't I? Oh, I have one more. Uh, nope, we're out. Okay, well, this is really bad. Hmm, hello, friend. Please don't kill me. Run, get by that corner. Oh, my God. Hmm. I'm not even clowning you for that. IW can suck my nads. You saw that. I couldn't escape, right? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm out of money. Okay, well, we're gonna have to really try here. Hey, bud. I love that you can teleport wherever you want. <laughs> Must be nice. Cool. This is really, really bad. What do I got? Nothing? Cool. This is going downhill fast? Yeah, this is how IW works. Okay. We're using assets to be done a smart way, and when done, you can get away with anything. I do not believe that in the slightest. That is way too forgiving of how we're using assets works. And a very... Mm, I think a very clear misunderstanding of how development works. Development is not just you can just throw stuff together and reuse assets whenever you want, and then make it work. Development is very difficult. And I say that Treyarch works very hard to make this environment that they do make, even if it is just reusing assets. I think that one of the most obvious cases of how difficult it is to reuse assets is to play a to play Mauer and to individually count how many different blood stains, zombie spots, pieces of trash, like how different the environment legitimately looks, even if the geometry is the exact same from the campaign version. I think I think the best reuse asset is five. Well, how is five any different? Five is literally two different um, campaign missions slapped together. How is five able to get away with it, whereas Cold War is not? Because five is is a more egregious rip of two different campaign layouts. One from one mission, one from, one from a cutscene, in fact, and one from an actual mission. Make it like Cold War Quest and the Worms are legendary. No, swords. okay. So glad zombies hit ranges are as big as the sun, especially in IW where you don't have a shield or any defensive options. It's behind me, isn't it? Cool. He's not. IW zombie slander always. Too many, I said too many nice things. That was the problem. Could get me killed. Oh God, damn it. Yes. Nice. Hmm. Okay, let's figure out what we gotta do here. Wait, I got this. Points. There we go. See, if I had the wind core, this wouldn't be a non-issue. Hmm. Sorry, child. I'll be able to read what you guys are saying in a second. Wish Vanguard at least brought Onslaught back properly. Eh. Well, Ryan right, knows Ferratu's Vermins. Um, Spartoids and Overcrawler Bombs Dalton Jackson Vermin enemies. Why isn't Spartan? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's only Nova Crawlers. It's so dumb. Okay, one. Okay, I think we're good after this. We just gotta not die. Never understood the whole reusing the asset thing. Most games are reused assets. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's probably the least problem that Cold War has under its boot. I feel like there's so much more that, that goes on in that game besides just the reusing assets. I didn't grab perks. That's bad. Another thing is how the geometry is used in context. Firebase C reuses assets to really just a spawn room. Yeah. I think they mean like more like the actual art style because the entirety of the base is a very generic base. It's probably the one that reuses assets the least besides being Machina. Where I think more people are talking about Mauer and, and Forsaken, which are direct one-to-ones to campaign missions. 
Five still had more personality and vibe is different. Hmm. I think I can understand the personality, but the personality is entirely carried by the cast. I think that that is... The cast is absolutely what makes 5-5. Five five. But I feel like that there's so much more that goes on in Cold War that makes up for that. But I also understand that that is a very important thing to most people. That is not important to me. So at the end of the day, it really is like... It's just that fact we have... I think that my opinions of stuff are wildly different than the way that most people consider stuff. Which is something I think you gotta understand. Dogs and tigers are the only vermins. Tigers are vermin. Well. Never seen two brutes. That's horrifying. Yeah, it's really bad. I think two is the max, but I could be wrong. We'll find out later, I guess. Okay, we should be good now. Oh my god, that crawler could have killed me easily. Beast from Young got away with it, not being recognized for reusing a part of the campaign layout. The Venom Room was a room using campaign for the ships. See, that's the thing, though. You could not, you know, let me know that. I'm sorry. I never knew that because I don't play campaign. It's crazy how Firebase is literally the best song snap today. Shut up, Hooded. Cold War cast goes for real, for real. Uh huh, yeah. The character, the character is what is what gives Five his personality, not the map. You wouldn't say Firebase is beautiful. I would, because I think that the art style is very pretty. Because of the way they do a lot of the orange sets, I think it's very pretty. But it's also only one thing. The thing that doesn't make it pretty is the fact that it's like, because you're saying character, whereas like, and then you're comparing like the map's beauty, which is two different things. Five isn't very pretty either. But I think that where like Firebase Z has, like, you also gotta understand each map has its own advantages, which I think is also pretty important to, you know, talk about. I'm also losing my train of thought in this conversation, too, which is a little annoying. I'm trying to find good ways to talk about what I'm trying to talk about, but I'm really not. It's also possible that we're just comparing apples to oranges here, which is how I feel about the conversation. So, what's Spaceland's best laser pistol for the Easter egg? I'd say the head cutter, but really it's our head cutter. Um, meat cutter? Wait, what's it called? The shredder from Kepler. That's the easiest to build, but it's not very good. None of them are good, in fact. Hey, Parker. Computers are whack. They really are. Thumbnail was actually so funny. Parker, I made the thumbnail with you in mind, but you were so caught up in making the um, like making the computer work, I just didn't have a chance to tell you. I knew you'd find it funny specifically. Firebase has so much personality with the order rounds. Boss zombies give a map a lot of characters. I think that Firebase has a lot going on with its gameplay, which is something that I don't think that Fire that Five has going for it. But again, we're comparing two different types of maps here. Where is that UFO? Oh my god! Did you guys see how I bounced off that curved wall? All right, it's only been an hour. Perfect. Run it back. Maps like Five and Ascension more or less um, use those reused assets as a basis and then build new maps off of that. Yeah, but I also think that the scale to which that those maps are made, which is more of an issue with Treyarch scalability. If they made maps that are like BO1 in size and content, I don't think people would be as happy with that. I think Treyarch absolutely picked its own battle with in terms of having bigger maps that reuse assets with more diverse gameplay that allows those reused maps to kind of play around with it more. The smaller the map, the less you can do with it. Stanley, end stream in six seconds. Say less. But we're going to redo it, so that's fine. You didn't have the Hoth? I'm so sorry. You can do a David Hasselhoff. Yeah, dude, David, David Hasselhoff just got murdered. Reuse assets are fine if it's not the, all the map has to offer. And that's kind of the thing. I think that these maps have a lot to offer that a lot of people aren't talking about compared to BO1 maps. I am Willard White. IW super good, guys. I only play DLC. I only play Director's Cut. <laughs> that's funny. I think Mauer is the worst Cold War map because the Panzer and Tormentors are boring. The Cypers are cool, but everything else feels boring in the enemy pool. Really? Because I actually think Mauer is my favorite. I like the gameplay a lot. I like the loop. I think the map design is a lot of fun. I like the characters in the Klaus. I like the Easter egg. I like Valentina. But at the end of the day, that's entirely how you feel. Who wants to see Hoff dead? No, I want to see Willard dead. You can't use Willard unless you're in director's cut. So what can you do? <laughs> Bogo's vintage is so heat. Yeah, exactly. Make sure y'all leave a like. You know what, guys? Leave a dislike. Don't actually leave a dislike, please. I know, yeah, sorry. You pro you'd probably know of all people, Tiger Bait. Mauer's the fan favorite. 
I love every song on this map besides Beast in their own way. Yeah, it's true. Hey, OSST. Guaranteed most people who complain about reused assets won't have even played the campaign. That, that one right there. That one right there. That one's probably the most true because guess who doesn't play the campaign? This guy. And I don't even know what's reused. Like, I'm going to say it. Guys, I played the campaign. And in my opinion, I don't even think about it a whole lot. Like, the like what they do with reused assets. Like, when I played, I think it's Hole in the Wall. Another Hole in the Wall for Mauer's, like, reused assets. What you play through in Mauer is, like, a, a, an on-the-rails track. It's, like, not even the same map. Thank you. So, like, it, that, that's for me, though. There's nothing wrong with, um, you know, if, if you think so. I called BS. Look at something I called their mob. What do you mean? I don't even remember what I said. So, I play the campaign. Not fair. I love to dislike. Thanks. I think Nuketown was an amazing reuse of, of a map for zombies. Wish it was done more. I think the issue is, Golem, I think that Nuketown is received horribly. I think the reason people even like that is Nuketown is because it's on Nuketown. Name for me, like, what's actually cool on Nuketown to play around with. Because the perk system sucks. The map design is boring and difficult for, like, no reason. And in my opinion, Nuketown's not fun. I would rather see, in my opinion, less maps like Nuketown. I feel like the, the big thing that Nuketown is going for it is the novelty that's on Nuketown. And I think that Alpha Omega is a very good representation of that, like, why it doesn't work. Mob Bloods reuse asset from In Real Life? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Multiplayer maps have always reused campaign maps, so why can't zombies? I think people recognize it less in zombies, whereas in zombies, you're in an open sandbox, and the bar has been set legitimately high. In terms of smaller maps, you can you can do less is BS because some maps like Call or Mob of the Dead. The, okay, first of all, in my opinion, you picked probably two of the biggest maps in their respective games. I think that Call of the Dead and Mob of the Dead are like the biggest maps in their games. I think in Mob of the Dead is a massive map. What do you mean? I think the perk RNG is lame, but the atmosphere and dread are cool. Alpha Omega is better in every way. I think Alpha Omega is better in every way because Nuketown sets the bar so low. Is there any one up and it's super unfair? Yeah, absolutely. The point of Nuketown is that it's challenging. Okay, it's challenging. Cool. There's a lot of challenging maps. Is Nuketown fun? Because I'm going to... I think no, personally. I think Nuketown sucks. Where's last? Not to mention, we already have three variants of Nuketown Zombies. What's the third? Am I dumb? What am I forgetting? <laughs> Unless you mean the multiplayer version from MP3. Oh, screw it. Since when is Mob big, I could buy most of the map by round five. Are we playing the same Mob of the Dead? Mob is the biggest map ever made on release? Yeah, like, am, am I playing the same Mob of the Dead, Wyatt? <laughs> Nuketown with Moon, Rushmore Town, and just plain Nuketown. Onslaught. Oh, right, yeah. Onslaught Nuketown? Yeah, sure. Fair point. I think Mob is big because of multiple floors. That's the thing. It's a very big map because it stacks on top of itself. It's not very big layout-wise. Guys, I'm going crazy because this big plot issue. What happened to Victus Crew after Tog? Um, when the universe it basically collapsed in on itself, the Victus Crew ceased to exist. Now, granted, it's possible that I, the way Rad Austin presented it is that, um, is that, like, the Victus crew isn't tied to the Elemental Shard in the same way that, like, Woods and Mason exist in both the original Aether Shoreline, because campaign was canon, at least BO1 was canon to zombies, and the way that, um, they also exist in the Dark Aether Storyline. They're not bound to the Elemental Shard, so they can exist however they want. Whereas the Victus crew, the exact same thing applies to them. There's probably a normal version of, you know, Misty, you know, and Marlton and Stoolinger and Rustman all existing in the Dark Ether universe because they're just normal people who weren't bound to the Dark e to the Ether universe. But that specific version of them that existed don't exist anymore, and they basically got faded away. Isn't Transit busy? Yeah, Transit also has nothing going on in it. You could shrink eighty percent of the map. It's only bigger because they. It's like a custom map where the guy tries to stretch it out by making maps really big. 
Nuketown is every MW player's favorite color, gray and brown. Oh, that's funny. We were just talking about that earlier with Exodus. How Exodus is just orange and brown. Blood is the mob I play. Fair. In terms of in playable space, yeah. Come back, Stanley. You can reach the Golden Gates Bridge by round two. Okay. Now, are we talking about four player where we use glitches, or are we talking about solo where you play normally? Because I don't think that's possible. Because if you're talking about the standard player experience, yeah, okay. You can get to the round two. Okay. Victor Screw deserves better. They fought just as hard as everyone else did in, in, in an even worse world. Yeah, that's kind of the... That's 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 called a tragedy. And also, a they didn't know what to do with them, so the story's over for them. <laughs> you know, I thought the Victor's crew would continue in the future DLC to Dark Aether, but should have known better. What can you do with that story, though? And also, what do they want to tell with that story? I think it's more interesting that they're not using them. And I'd rather them just not use them at this point. I think with a more nuanced story, they developed new characters. Like Grey, Peck, Strauss, Carver... Samantha Maxis. And I'd much rather see what happens to these characters than what happened to the Victus crew at this point. I think that there's more going on. They developed a more stable baseline to tell a character to tell a story with these characters. Rather than Victus, which was always kind of on the back foot due to very shoddy writing, which just made them jokes. This is absolutely possible solo. You gotta use one or two free door glitches. Yeah, okay. That's the problem. <laughs> Because I definitely don't think glitches are, like, the best way to rate, you know, how big or how many doors a map has. Because, you know, it's like, you're using glitch to basically go around what was completely unintended. But that's just me. What did I miss? Made a milk and sig run. Yes, I came back. Well, welcome back, Trenton. Um, we may or may not have died. <laughs> Grey Strauss and Carver are just as uninteresting. I think they're very interesting. But in the exact same way that, like, they're not interesting in, like, the, the easy way that, like, the original characters are. Because if the development team wanted to write those characters just like the Ultimus crew, how they're memorable, they would have just written them like jokes. And given them a ton of jokes to say. Which I'd much rather them try to make competent characters first and then try and do something funny with them later. I also think it helps that these characters were written in the intel. Which is something a lot of people hate to admit is exactly what people did back in the day when Call of Duty Zombies was just radios. And I'd say that I think the biggest indicator is that a lot of people feel like that the story didn't need to be told through radios. Did are we did we all play the same story back in the day? The story was literally only existing in Intel. It did not exist without in like without radios. Like whenever people tell me that like you need Intel to play like to no Cold War storyline and you didn't need it for the original storyline. I feel like I'm in, like, a crazy town sometimes. Now, like, I'm, like, the only person that's sane. Because I don't get that in the slightest. The roaches are crawling with roaches. How is that even possible? Yeah. <laughs> just making an intel file saying that they're alive and they're living their best life and that just gives them closure. Yeah, true. They could have given them closure. They didn't, though. So maybe they will do something with them. Or maybe not. Who knows? Mob is small compared to die rise buried in Origins. They're all big maps, in my opinion. <laughs> But, like, I feel like... Did you guys see that? Anyways. Stupid Willard, I'm falling on goodness. Send you a link to something I'm doing. Cool. Anyways. For the man who has everything. You don't need to do free door glitches? Well, then what's the strategy, buddy? I'm back in the way. They're both right there, aren't they? Oh my god. In World of War to BO3, we need Intel to understand full context. Brother, there was no context! You, there was no story without the Intel! Here's the thing. If I, like, use the term Intel instead of radios, it, it makes more sense to some people. So that's why I'm using that term right now. Because the Intel of Black Ops 1, 2, 3, and World at War is the story. There is no story outside of those intels. Speaking of intel, since the Easter egg classify is so good, the story appeal of the map lies solely in intel and other side Easter eggs that most people don't bother going for in the first place. Yeah. I never said that, you know, BO4 storytelling is not good. I think it's terrible. 
Because they tell it the exact same way they told the other storylines, which was also terrible. And I think it's an absolute hindrance to how Classified or um, Chaos came out. Because for some reason they were so hell bent on telling that story the exact that way. Do you think it'd be a mistake to continue COD 2024 with the operator system over a crew? Oh my god, just do both. Please, do both. Just, just make a crew or the operator bundle. It is that easy. That is all you have to do. Just do what World War II did. And then you can have the best of both worlds. And then no one will complain about it. But I know that they're not going to do that. Because that doesn't make them money on bundles. The difference between the old and new intel system. New one is that the old the old one has characters that we still care about without reading the intel. Okay, fair. You know, I think that's probably the most fair point I've heard all night. About the old intel system. Which I think is more of a deficit of the operator system and less of storytelling. Make skins for the crew. Do you really want to buy skins to play as the characters to hear quotes from them? That sounds awful. Just make a crew. Do what World War II did. That's what every zombie should do. That's literally what every zombie needs to do. And most and most of the secrets tell you stuff you already know in the Chaos storyline. Yeah, that's a whole different can of worms with Chaos' storytelling. Chaos' storyline was trying to be mysterious. And, like, the problem is so many of those ciphers... Because, like, I think Blundell absolutely thought that we were going to solve every cipher on, like, day two. So that, like, the ciphers lead into the DLC maps. Some of those ciphers just tell us stuff we knew, like, after Ancient Evil came out three years ago. <laughs> like, Ancient Evil's in the rearview mirror three years out, and we're just solving a cipher how, like, they're going to turn Shaw into, like, one of the Order members. Like, wow, great, we already knew this. They sell so many bundles that they were crew members. Dear Lord, do not give them that idea, because they will do that. And, oh my god, I might just blow my brains out if they do that. Because you know who's going to buy every single one of them? This guy. And I can't justify that purchase anymore when I have a full-time job, so. Like, how do I tell my girlfriend, Hey, babe, I'm just buying every single Call of Duty zombie character bundle. Don't mind me. What's that? I spent $200 on digital skins? No, you're just seeing things, babe. You're just hallucinating. In fact, I think you spent that money. You gave that to me. With the old games, the voice lines were very entertaining, which is missing from Cold War. I think so, but that has nothing to do with storyline. And I think that's where a lot of people get confused with, like, the criticisms of the game's story and presentation. And I think that, like, I think that it is a blow to the game's story, but that is an entirely different criticism against the way that they have presented the story and the way that they present the characters in the story, rather than the storytelling itself. It's independent of the intel issue. Remember Victor's crew was in Blackout? Don't remind me. I have them all. Make zombie operators team separately from the multiplayer. Much like Unique Requiem Squad. And sell skins for them. The, I, the, the, I, here's the thing. Guys, I'm on board with that. I hate that they don't do that. Because, oh my god. Please. Just let me play as zombie characters. I am totally on board with that decision making. That's all I want them to do. Because, oh my god, it's so stupid. Oh, how hard was that, Stanley? What? I don't even remember what I said. Pretty sure they hinted that Bruno was going to kill Shaw in 9. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. That's, that's the thing. It's like, there's so many ciphers that talk about it more, and it's like, those ciphers are so far, like... We didn't solve them till so far down the pipeline. It didn't even matter at that point. Characters are likable in Cold War. We just needed more of it. I think the Forsaken was a very solid antagonist. I it, that's the thing. It, it's it's very obvious that like they went for a more minimalistic approach with Cold War, and I think it works to the game's favor. But I also think that it definitely it has a lot of people scratching their heads at it. So let's see what they do. When is the FNAF one review? Never. I'm not John. I'm not Rizzo. I'm not going to make a FNAF review. That's his thing. He can work on that five times a year. The characters are... Oh, wait. Never mind. 
Did you see the mob round two strats on in chat? No, I'm not gonna stop stream to play another video. <laughs> Angelo, I believe you. The closest we got was the Samantha Maxis bundle. Yeah. In my opinion, the Samantha Maxis bundle should have just been a free thing for beating Easter eggs. Do you know how much people would have gawked over that? Oh my god, the amount of good community like appeal that you could garner just by doing that is so easy. They don't do it. I sent it in a stream chat. Wow, even better. I'm still not opening it, Angela. <laughs> Alright, I have uh, I have this. Oh my god, so true. So, mm. even with them making Max as the character, she still felt as soulless as the rest of the operators. Here's the issue, because they have no story interactions with her, and they're selling her as a skin. So she has to fit into multiplayer. And she has to basically have the same seven grunt lines, the same seven KA kills. She has no personality to her. And they had no intentions of writing her as a story character. So, what can you do? Should have been a super easter egg reward. It really should have been. Sell yourself for the Maxis bundle. There you go. Given what they've been doing for rewards for raids and weapons and operator skins are probably going to be easter egg rewards going in the forward. They, they just should do that. That's such a simple idea. It's an easy win. I think a lot of people would really like that. 5k round one. How do you get 5k points in round one? Okay. You lazy bum, buddy. I'm doing a stream. Also, again, please describe to me, where is 5,000 points magically coming out of the air in round one? Oh, unless it's get to the showers first, which I think is probably the answer. I'm going to guess it early. Showers, I knew it. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I'm so smart. <laughs> Give us the Rustman Operator Bundle or Oz. That's the thing. They're, like, Activision is consistently sitting on a gold mine. I think the only issue with Oz, Oz they might not bring back. Oz is um, John Malkovich, who is an A-list actor. And that's extremely expensive. Like, the AW and World War II characters probably had the least chance of ever coming back because they're so expensive. It's also the reason why those two crews have the least amount of lines because they have to pay them a lot to say said lines. That's why in every single World War II map, they're always saying stuff like, the big ones can move. And Jefferson repeats it every single time you play the map. Because, well, they didn't have enough money to pay for them to do the rest of the quotes. And if they did, they don't, it's a very limited amount of money. Who said the Exquisite was good in the boss fight? The only powerful weapons of the boss fight are the blaster pistols and some double pack weapons. According to Malari, who was here earlier, he said using the EMC can kill the boss really quickly. And apparently, if you kill the boss with a normal weapon, it knocks out two fuses, not just one. So I'm going to take him off on his word for it. See what happens. You forgot to get the best reward imaginable for Easter eggs. A calling card. Ah! So cool. At least Forsaken Max has finally came out and also came, to, came out to fight. Yeah, true. But she still has no quotes. I want unique camos during Easter eggs. Yeah, I agree. There's so many cool camos, but they're never going to do it because that, why won't you just buy them, silly? Hey, silly, the big ones can move. The big ones can move at Arby's. We have the meats. So that's why I almost never heard voice lines in World War II. Probably because of that. Hey, Mr. High. Because, at least this is my theory, is because they're all A-list actors. And it's very expensive to get them to do, like, to, to be in the studio. So they most likely just had them, like, say the lines. And then, like, once they were done reading them, like, anything that was story important. Because anything that wasn't, they were going to have to spend a lot of money on, if that makes sense. That's why they all don't have a whole lot of lines. Besides, whatever is absolutely apparent for the story oh is it so high pitched I don't know Arby's X COD crossover when please soon I'm so hungry
at least give us more lines like you know popcorn setting and we need to get to the sewer oh yeah we need to get to the sewer yeah because uh, again it's like they're so expensive to pay for those guys godfrey's an a-list actor but has a ton of lines that's because with bo4 they were willing to shell out that much money for zombies because bo4 was following bo3 and activision gave them a lot of money to work with it that's why the maps there's four of them that were being actually five there were five maps in development all at the same time for those who don't know, Voyage 9, Blood of the Dead, Classified, and Dead of the Night were all being developed at the exact same time. But when scheduling issues came up with the Dead of the Night actors, they had to push Dead of the Night back to DLC 1. So that's where we're at. And so they would get away with that. There's a custom map set in Arby's that does not shock me. Dead of the Night is such a good map. That, okay, that's the other reason why. Whenever people want the celebrity crews to come back, they're most likely never coming back because it's so expensive to pay for them. And I can guarantee you, Activision knows that. So that's why most of the maps suck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But it is absolutely apparent. I keep saying the word apparent all night. But... Does, doesn't that make a bit more sense why all the maps suck? They're all being developed at the exact same time. The overambition is through the roof. And the polish went down. And even then, I think they still made great maps. But that's entirely up to your interpretation of if you like the game or not. That's annoying. And then the YouTubers is why we can have nice things. Nah, it wasn't just YouTubers. It's the developers' fault, too. They put too much on their plate. And they promised too many things. That's entirely on them. That's nothing wrong. It's half the community's fault, half the developer's fault. I think 9 being a DLC map instead of Dead of the Night would have killed BO4. Oh, absolutely. I think 9 being a um, launch map was the best thing that could have happened to the game. Easily. I 100% agree on that notion. Where's that boy? Now he's here. He's right there. I have not met him. Where is he? 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 Hey, buddy. Oh, okay, bye. Let's go. It's apparent that I keep saying apparent. Yeah, I know. Just go with it for the night. Or I take two fuses. Okay. I'm curious if downing an alien normal pop weapon does break both fuses. I've heard it breaks both, according to Malari, so we'll find out. Give me. Thank you. I think the maps that got out um, fine among the five was nine classified. Sorry, no, I like nine classified. I think Voyage has a lot of issues, and it absolutely hurts because of the development. Oh my god, don't kill me, thank you. If I got slapped one more time during that, I would have easily died. We're good. Hey, Cygnus. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. Oh, and it goes around. Cool, nice. Dope. I can and will blame the YouTubers because they killed it even more. Fair. That's why I'm based, guys. Watch, he's going to do the laser right now. Watch. How that didn't kill me, I don't. And there it is. Cool, let's go, buddy. YouTubers are kind of why BO4 failed. It was kind of it was it was kind of a reason. They clobbered it too hard without a chance. Yeah. Nine classified work because they were simple to make. Yeah, absolutely. But they also packed a lot of stuff in them that made them memorable. Every zombie's game needs a nine town, the giant, etc. Well, yeah, that's it's called classified, and people hated that it wasn't bundled at launch, which is fair. It really shouldn't bundled. Nine, you mean eleven? Yeah, strike one, buddy. It's been a long night. What the heck just happened? Uh, apparently, when I was circling the um, brute, I stepped on the panel on accident. And the game said, no, no, no. I'm always, wanting to, I'm, always, I'm always torn about a map with a lot of parts like Dead of the Night. Yeah. Well, they give you a lot to do, and they age very well, but is that fun? I don't know. Most memorable at Classified that's original. I think the score, the setting, the lighting. I think a lot of it is just like, I think the gameplay is very unique. 
They let you go to Groom Lake. There's a lot of stuff that you can do there that's fun. And at the end of the day, it's like, oh, it's, you know. What more can a Zombies map add that, you know, on top of the original? I think Classified's a lot of fun because I think the feel of it's a lot of fun. And I love the music for it. I think the vibe is a complete 180 compared to the original. And it's so much more fun because of that. But does that go a long way for you? It goes a long way for me. So. That's entirely dependent on how you feel. Please just do this for me already, buddy. It's a long night, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long night. Now watch. When I loop him around, he's going to turn around. Watch. See? Oh, I knew it. Wow. Please just do this for me. I didn't knock it off. I was going to say. Please just die. Oh my god, that was like a chain reaction right there. Okay, what? Oh, right, so it's gonna give me extra money. Mm, that's annoying. Look at the body shot points. Stanley, the setting and Groom Lake are not original. Cool. I think everything else about the map is cool. Because, again, it's how far does it go for you? I think BO4 where you reuse maps amazing. It made him feel familiar, expanded upon. Yeah. A fun-filled five. That's a good way to put it. Like, running tr tr trivia, riveting groom like gameplay. Yeah, probably shouldn't have said that. I'm also just kind of talking off my tongue here. Not all these points are very well thought out. I'll give, I'll give myself some credit, okay? At least it's a dry heat, you know. This is why it takes down his helmet in time. It's based off of it, you know. Yeah, I don't do that. And at the end of the day, I think classified's fun, but, you know, I think that what it does different goes a long way for me. Does it go a long way for you? Doesn't look like it does, so. Hmm. Try sleeping? No, I'm a little tired from work. It's very hot outside today. And for me, it's a very moist heat. It's Florida. It's over 100 degrees out. Like Hips on fire's laser? Yeah, it's so dumb. Why does he do that? I find it so funny classified is able to be opened fully within, like, two to three rounds. That's what, It makes it so much fun because that Nova Crawler egg. Over expectations about releases, um, content release mostly due to Fortnite killed BO4. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's over expectations. It's, it's, you know, hyping it up. I mean, for example, like, the game that came before it was BO3. Muslim Classified's bad. It's probably one of my favorite maps. Hell, I'd even say it's top five. Okay. Cool. I think there's a lot going on in it, but that's just me. The Brute Fire's a laser as a Destiny reference. Oh, does it? Cool. Puts on the head to indicator to instant W, is it? I can't wait to put this inside me. I don't know what you guys can and can't hear. Did you just hear Hoff's quote? But yeah, what fun topics we're having today about zombie map, you know, reuse. And at the end of the day, I'd much rather make a new map than remake an old one. Like, if I ever see a transit remake, I'm just going to be so uh, just annoyed. Because I don't care. I still haven't made an apology video. Yeah, right? I don't want, I'm never making an apology video. Every time I have a side content, there's an IW you can actually miss and then choose to do later on another run. I think that's fair. There's a lot of fun side content, but there's also a lot of bad side content. Like, I think a pretty big example for me that comes to mind is um, the Mahjong tiles in Shaolin. Yes, that's side content. It ain't fun, though. It's just not memorable. Hey, that's perfectly fair. I think it's memorable and a lot of fun. I think it does more, in my opinion, to stick out from 5 just because I, first of all, don't connect with the characters. The characters in 5 are probably something I connect with the least. So, to me, anything that Classified could have done was something I would have really liked. Or, my fault. So, anything that Classified did... Was something I appreciated more about it than a hardcore five fan, because I'm not a hardcore five fan. I like five a lot, but my favorite thing about five is not the characters. I'll tell you that. Oh, I need money. <laughs> Give me money. Cool. Thank you, 
lord. Ooh, that's really bad. I enjoy remix, but there comes a point when I scream, do something new and interesting. Please, I beg you. So then, please, for the love of God, tell me why is Make Zombie Chronicles 2 still the biggest thing in this community? Because, dear lord, if I ever get a Zombie Chronicles 2, I am just going to be so mad. Because it is just not something that should be made. Because another thing is, most people like reuse content when it's not part of the main DLC, which is perfectly fair. That's why Zombie Chronicles works, and the remade maps on BO4 don't work. So what I'm saying is memorable to me. It's not fun. Fair. I wonder the goofy president cast. Lincoln, Washington. I want a Reagan map so bad for Cold War. They had the potential. That's not a bad idea. If you connect to, to us, the U.S. president, Fidel Castro, I want your autograph. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. I don't know how to connect that. Don't blame us for we're probably not asking for this. Am I winning? Never. Um, that's, that's the thing. We're not asking for it, but going back to our conversation earlier about casual zombie fans, most people don't care about this stuff as much as we do. And it's the reason why Zombie Chronicles is so successful and something like, you know, the BO4 remade Aether maps are not, because no one cares about those. Zombie Chronicles works really well because it it's flashing in your face, this is what you remember. It is literally the tagline of the, um... DLC, relive the story of the undead. That's why it is so popular. The things that we as a, as a majority care about is not something that a normal person cares about. Because a normal person has a brain and they played zombies for five minutes. So, of course, they're going to buy Zombie Chronicles that has Kino on it. And no matter what attempts Activision tries to get Treyarch to... I thought that couldn't hurt you. Any attempt that Activision has ever tried to do to get people to care about remakes has never worked, besides Zombie Chronicles. It works so well because it's so, like, in your face about what it is. Don't ask me, I think Zombie Chronicles 2 is not coming. It's a done and gone. It, please, dear lord, it better be. I never want to see that as a thing ever released. Mahjong tiles at first. It's hard to tell which one is an equipment and which one is a gun. A, a, G, a GNS tile? A Ghost and Skulls tile. Oh, I didn't know that was the thing. Great. I just have to play that Ghost and Skulls. That's going to be fun. Stanley, if you just play ukulele when apologizing, everyone forgive you. Oh my god, that's Miranda Sings. I think it's her name. Chronicles is such a good deal. It is a good deal. To a lot of casual people. As a hardcore fan, I think Moon is literally the only map that is worth playing. I do not think a single Chronicles map is worth playing besides that. And it's kind of the reason why like, you never see me play Chronicles on this channel. Also, the, the content of Chronicles does not match my channel and what I do on stream, so that doesn't help either. There's a Zombie Chronicles 2. It's called Playing the Old Maps. Yeah, but a lot of people don't own the old maps anymore. Most people gave away their consoles. Most people change consoles. Most people don't want to pay for a lot of DLC. It's a good deal for what it offers. Also, the maps are very pretty. I might add that. I'd appreciate Zombie Chronicles 2, but only because I'm not able to play older maps because I don't have the older Zombies games. That's a big thing for some people. Yeah, see some bro? Yeah. A lot of people don't own those games anymore, so. Please just move. You're so annoying. Hmm. I just need to use this. What am I doing? Just kill it. I'm just gonna use that. Yeah, we have it. Why not use it? <laughs> I've died like three times because I didn't use my trap, like my boombox. Just use it at this point. <laughs> cool. Bye, friends. I'm going to grab my other boombox now. Origins is the most pointless remaster, and that's the thing. But a lot of people like Origins on BO3. Because casual people could care less about what's better or worse than the um, originals. The only proved map in Chronicles is Moon and Varuk. Yeah, exactly. Fun fact, the copyright... Um, she copyrighted her own video. I heard about that. That's why she plays the ukulele. So that, like, whenever anyone calls her out on it, she can just play that over it. And then, like, oh, you copyrighted my song. And then she pulls it off. Which is, like, hey, hey. Uh, all allegations aside. That is the most scummy thing I've ever heard. Jesus. Anyways. The Shaolin Ghost is also so puzzle makes it complicated. It adds to the overarching problem with Shaolin. Everything is overcomplicated. Surprisingly, it may be overcomplicated. But it is one of the easiest. No way. You're joking. If that's the easiest, I am so worried. Because I've done everything except Beast at this point. Beast and Shaolin are the two maps I haven't actually like played enough to re-review for myself. For the re-review. 
So I guess we'll have to find out. Should probably not be training that. If any zombie walks down there, they instantly kill me with collision, so. You have a good night, Vanessa. But in my I I here's the thing. If you're gonna do Zombie Chronicles 2, don't do it, first of all. Second of all, just remake the maps and do something better with them. Because I'd love to see Transit not done like Transit, if that makes sense. I think doing Transit completely differently would be a really good idea. I want a classified style remakes as well, telling a bit more story deals and maybe a cutscene. Tato, I more than agree with that. That'd be a great way to do it. A gamer girl's got games to play. Go for it. Clearly, you're saving the best for last with the IW review with Raven the Redwoods. Yeah, it's taking me a while to make that review. I keep stopping. I, keep, I need to stop stopping. Let's get bored writing it. Because, uh, first of all, script writing, hot take, for making videos, is the hardest thing to make in a video. Easily for me. It sucks. Also, I'm terrible. Terrible at making that kind of stuff. Whereas, like, if I just need to, like, edit the video, my editing style is so easy, I don't even need to think about it. It's all pulling cool clips together. That's so easy. It's so much fun to do. Writing is so difficult. Like, I gotta remember everything, review it, critique it, and then come up with a better idea for it. Oh my gosh, I gotta do that for everything. It just slows down so much. And then I also need to not sound like a robot, which I already do in my videos and in my streams. Okay, and we're done with the traps. Cool, let's go develop some UFOs now. Fun challenge for YouTubers. Don't fiddle, don't diddle or message kids. Impossible? Phew, I'm doing pretty good already myself. Rave, Ghosts and Skulls is a very hard boss fight. You have to run around with the slasher trying to kill you and the attack is a combination of Brave and Shaolin and the cover complication is extremely difficult to do. So, Tiger, I actually didn't have too hard of a time on um, on attacks. I thought it was fine. It wasn't awful. I, I've had I've played worse, if that makes sense. But I, I abhorred, which means to hate. I hated um, raves. Because you're constantly in rave mode and you have to constantly deal with the slasher. And that's just annoying. Also, another hot take, Ghosts and Skulls sucks. No matter what Ghosts and Skulls game it is, it's so bad. If you're not playing in co-op. And I'm not playing in, like, four-player co-op. At most, three. Because you know how hard it is to get a full team of people to play IW? I've been told some of them are easier. I consider those people liars, but what do I know? I think Outbreak Maps are the closest thing to a good version of Transit. That's the thing. What makes me even more upset is that, like... Out, like, why didn't they just make Transit as an Outbreak map? That would have been a shoo-in of a victory for the development team. Now, granted, they did not have the development resources to do that, but imagine if they did. What's the worst Aether boss? Ooh, can I say the Keeper? That's pretty... It's easy to dunk on that guy, because he was the first one. But probably not him, so... Hmm. What's the worst one? Oh, Thrasher Takio, easily. Nothing's going on on that one. They should remake Buried or be done with remakes for a while. Buried needs a remake. Buried, I don't think Buried needs one at all. But it's got some good mechanics that aren't fully realized or refined. Actually, wow. Would not have thought about that. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this is number two or three. There it is. Bye-bye. Feels like you have less time to beat the game than the other four Ghosts and Skulls boss fights. Okay, hmm. So it took you 40 minutes to finish the boss fight. Which boss fight? What are you talking about? Tiger. Shadow Man. Ooh, Shadow Man's pretty bad too. Yeah, that's a good point. Ghosts and Skulls is great except for attack. Really? I hate Ghosts and Skulls. All of them. Skull Hop. Um, I have no idea what we're talking about now. Skull Hop is which one? That's attacks, right? Because with attack, I just, like, the Ghost in Skulls was boring, but it wasn't bad. So. Rev Shadow Man. Ooh, Rev Shadow Man's really bad. Like how Transit is, like, BO4 multiplayer maps. It's a tribute to all the zombies maps. Okay. Hmm. Is, oh, it's in a BO4 multiplayer map? Oh, cool. Oh! Oh, the museum. I love the museum map on BO4 multiplayer. It's such a good map. That whole DLC was like where we got the blackout zombies map we got the museum and the i think it's called der Schatten map i forgot to pronounce it it's really good yes um i don't even what do you mean the boss fight you mean like Krogzilla, or do you mean like doing the ghost and skulls mini game because i gave up on ghost and skulls 
I stopped playing it. I just didn't want to play it anymore. So I don't know what the heck the Exquisite is. It's basically all these little arcane cores that we're collecting right now. Puts them all together, does more damage, and it's good for boss fight. So I'm like, Gorod is the only good boss fight based on your opinion. Um, I'd say Keeper has Keeper didn't age too well. Shadowman didn't age too well. Thrasher didn't age. Thrasher just sucks. So yeah, basically, basically Gorod. But they got a lot better in my opinion when they got to be 04. I love Voyage 9 Ancient Evil. I love Alpha Omega's boss fight. What a good boss fight that is. I hate um, Dead of the Knights. Dead of the Knights is so boring. It also it sucks. And Togs and Classified don't have boss fights. And Blood of the Dead is boring. Bad. Nothing's going on. So. Cool. Gimme, gimme. Cool. Okay. To the next one. The Blackout Zombies mode was the only time I played Blackout, and it was, it was a lot of fun. I know! Why isn't that a permanent game mode? It's so good. Ghosts and Skulls. Okay. The one... That one is horrible. It's because you need a solver to do the wall puzzle. I don't like the... Oh my god, please! I don't like the solver wall puzzle. Um, besides that, I think it's kind of okay. It's not too bad. I like the puzzle aspect of it, but then I hated how they did the puzzle. I'm at work. I'm the work truck. My phone's muted. Hey, chat. Hi, Malari. The Blackout... Yeah, wait. How to take Rev Shadow Man isn't bad, it's just a bad way to end the story. Overall, the boss fight isn't horrible. I thought the different challenges were fun. Mm, I didn't like it a whole lot. I, I like the Margwa fight more than the Shadow Man fight, if that makes sense. That I thought was infinitely more fun. You give up the attack Ghost and Skulls fight, not surprised. Second or the first most difficult. It's just so... so call, it, you, oh, you're calling those fights. Okay, I see what, I see what you mean now. No, I hated, I hated, I don't care which Ghosts and Skulls, they all suck, they're all annoying, I don't like them. I played three of the five Ghosts and Skulls currently, I still need to do Shaolin and Beast. Did you um beat your last run, I miss it, no we died, we're back, we ran it back, 40 minutes, too much math for zombies, okay, mm. I would like the um I would like to imagine the apothecary from Monty sounds like death from Castlevania anime. Never seen that. Wish the red fight did more with a giant alien. Oh, the giant squid statue in the background. Yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Probably plan to. Ran out of budget or time. Reb's already a mess as is, honestly. Cool. The giant aliens and Rev were surprisingly docile. Yeah. But that's, that's, that is entirely up to maybe they just ran out of time. And they meant to do more with it. But, like, what do you do with that concept? Which guns are you planning on using the Exquisite Core on? We're going to try and go for the EMC. It's the one you recommended. If not, any other recommendations, Malari? Think the Aesthetic Ghosts and Skulls is cool? Hey, nothing wrong with that. I hate it. All right, let's get that Wind Core so we can at least have that set up for... We can beat the egg and then do it. Walking my dog while watching. Appreciate it. But I appreciate you guys um, having this funnel conversation with me. Blocky. Okay. Do you have the UDM stalker? I don't. I, that's the next one I'm trying to unlock, actually, is the UDM stalker. Where's this UFO? There it is. Why'd you run out of ammo there? Ammo cool. Okay. Beast is the easiest to puzzle. The puzzles aren't all complicated. I, I'll i be real with you. While I'm reading the guide, I haven't done it yet. So it's always possible. It's super easy. It looked stupid. I cannot believe people keep telling me it's the easiest one. If you have the cheat sheet and knows how few accommodations there are, okay. The fight's not hard. Okay, cool. There's another one where, like, you have to just, like, throw the nuke at them and, like, nu like basically just match the colors and then just throw a nuke when you're ready. I don't remember. Cool, give me that wind core. Why do you have to be right next to the wall by? That scares me. Cool, okay. All right, let's go to the Easter egg now. <laughs> We should actually put more math in Easter eggs get all the STEM fields. Ooh, true. 
The other day, I beat my high score and beat one Kino. Old round 14, new and 16. Nice. Your dog will stop eating rocks. That's not a good idea. Mall Essentials is the next best thing. I wouldn't recommend using any assault rifles or SMGs outside maybe the VPR. I thought you said the EMC was good. Or do you need a variant for the EMC? Because I don't have a variant for it. The space mod for Vectorio has Vector Cal- <gasps> Did you say Vector Calculus? Why? Why would you want that? Yeah, Factorio. People who play Factorio are a different breed. And by a different breed, a special kind of breed. They know exactly what they are. Oh my god. Like, I have seen Factorio gameplay. There is not a game I want to play less in my life. That's not true. There's a lot of games I want to play. I kind of wonder why they never made a weapon based on a charm of the pixelated skull from Ghost and Skulls for completing them. I, I'll never understand that. That's, that's such an easy thing to do. No, any variant of the MC will work. It's not an assault rifle or SMG. It's a pistol. Okay. So what's the best one then? Mauler or EMC? Which one would you recommend? Say you did a she sheet for 3, 5, and 6 in your Discord server. Did you ever see it? Probably, and then I skipped over it with my mind. I probably should look at it. Also, do you even need to use the Entangler throughout all of Ghosts and Skulls? I'm curious. What's Vector Calculus? You literally do not want to know. I'm going to tell you that right now. You literally don't want to know. You know, I wish I got this one last. That'd be really nice. You should look at the images of the viewer's dogs and calculate um, who would win in a bloodlust fight, battle royale style. I would never do that to cute little puppies. Why would I ever want to battle royale dogs? They are so adorable. But my dog would win because my dog is the best of all time. Where's my max now? There it is. EMC without a doubt, really easy to use. Lots of ammo. I hope you uh, messed, messed with attachments to make a dual wield in full auto. I have never used this, so I'm going to probably go for the mauler. <laughs> it's the complete guide for beast, ghosts, and skulls. It's pretty much maxed out, so you should look at the sheet. Cool. You're saying I don't <laughs> want to know. Um, it's making me want to know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Remember, Ghosts and Skulls um, gives you an achievement upon completion. That's a loud signal to other players. You're a nerd. Do not complete all five. You cannot force me to complete one of them. Call them all of them? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I just can't. I don't care. Like, the quest lines are, like, bad. But when it comes to actually completing it, there's only so much patience I have before I just think, wow, this blows. And I never want to play it again. <laughs> what map should I struggle on next? You should do Space on Exquisite. <laughs> Hey, Stanley, do you know any lore behind the monkey list? Like, where it's from? Nope. I think it's a little doll. And I don't remember. It's just in the box. Kind of like the monkey bombs. But the monkey bombs have a creator. Homunculus seemingly do not. It would probably be described as, like, a creation from a guy who was in the order or something. Who knows? <laughs> Professor, whose job is it to explain what vector calculus is? To sh oh, is struggle? Wait. Professor, whose job is it to explain what vector calculus is? Struggle to explain what it is. Oh, professor, wait, professors whose job it is to explain. Okay, they struggle to explain it. Cool, I was reading that so wrong. I'm so happy I can just delete you. You can be deleted too, buddy. Get deleted, get deleted, bye, cool, okay. Anyways. You know, this would be really pog if it was right here. <laughs> Who knows, man? <laughs> M1 OP, it's so good. Oh my goodness. This thing is my lifesaver. Spring is starting to work day the other day, and that's where homunculus comes from. Oh, does it? Okay, cool. That's where it comes from? Nice. Oh my god, Dylan. Am I just going to keep missing the spot the entire game? There's only like, so many of these. Please don't let it be here. I'd rather save this one till the end. Please. Okay. Yeah. 
I feel like Treyarch's next game should have a throwback season where they call back to old games and release packs of characters old outfits like Mason's Bloody Tea and Hudson's Suit and Glasses. Oh my god. Hey, the prospect's great. You know, it'd be even better if they just made it fun. <laughs> and maybe had these, like, you know, packaged with the game. If that makes sense. I'd much rather that. Why are you spawning from behind me? If you have the patience, you can run into the boss with just your M1. Yeah, I'd rather show it off with the Mauler. Especially if you're saying it's good on it. See, this one's also really easy. I used to think, one, I used to think Polar Peaks was so difficult. It's so easy. Or maybe a, Re a Reznov pack. Yeah. I like the way they did it in Blacker where you could just unlock Reznov. That was cool. Even the challenge is stupid hard. Gave people a lot to go for. I think that was always fun about it. I think that is something that like... That's the thing I don't get about Call of Duty. They 100% have... Like, tr this is what Blackout understood better than Fortnite. Or better than what Warzone understood about Fortnite. Was that like Treyarch knew that they had a catalog of characters to work off for people to play as. That was such a good idea and the entirety of it is squandered in your face and it is just it's so sad to watch that like with warzone and like what they did with cod 2.0 how little they utilize their actual cast and they just make up new ones to try and follow the fortnite trend it is pathetic and almost upsetting to look at that's like gary Oldman back to vc i never want to see resnov again that's what i'm saying How about they make a game with brand new mechanics, brand new mechanics never heard of? It's called Fun. No, that's stupid. Treyarch's entire last game was a throwback season. Yeah, honestly, it was. <laughs> Good way to put it. Oh my God, M1, my beloved, please keep working. Fortunately, Beast Ghost and Skulls is not hard because it, it relies on you surviving the ninjas that are bleeding out, and you can insta kill it without jug. Cool. <laughs> Can't wait to make the stream off of that Ghost and Skulls. The best songs of all time. Temple, Black Ops 1 for the DS. That's a good map. Please don't be here. It's not. This location sucks. And that's where we say GG. I hate this spot. This one is the worst. Oh my god. Like, I gotta survive here for two seconds and not let them hit this thing, like, 20 times? Oh, my God. How am I gonna do this? Because, like, when I did this last time, it was so difficult. Stop hitting him. Stop. Because this one today is coming at you from all angles, and I really have nothing against this one. Like, this one's just difficult. And, you know, maybe if I wasn't standing here when the round started, maybe the game would have been nicer to me, you know? Maybe it wouldn't have spawned it right here. And there's clown spawning. Wow. Even chat, you're gonna have to give me like a full minute to focus. So get your questions ready to be resubmitted in a minute. This, oh my god. This one is just awful in every way imaginable. You're gonna see a real spam trigger here. Hopefully I can beat this because I have had so much fun on this one before. Like, there was one time where I was going for the Space Lamer review, and I was doing this one for the solo Easter egg footage, and I downed three times. And I also, it was, like, around, like, 25 when I beat it, finally. Like, this one took me forever to do. And that, it was also just me doing this one as the third SETICOM, like, multiple times, I might add. Like, it doesn't move when it breaks, so you're basically just stuck here. Oh, my God, why are you a crawler? I hate you. Please, just go, 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 go. Please move, move, move. No one... Okay, that thing's gonna last for at least 30 seconds. Oh my god. What's even better, we might not even have this in the bag. Oh my god, I'm almost out of ammo. Wow, <laughs> this is fun. Okay, we should be good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Phew! Good and bad. Oh my gosh, perfect. Good thing I'm better. Okay, anyways. Have you heard about the COD board game? Oh, do you mean the, um, I have the, I have a COD Zombies board game. 
Yo, dude, that's too experimental. Yeah. <laughs> Virgin playing as campaign character versus Chad playing as Cosmic Silverback. Oh my god, I love Cosmic Silverback. A Margwa skin? Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. Why don't we get a Margwa skin? Sounds awesome. Okay, so now that we're ready, let's, at the end of the round, we can go get the Exquisite. Boombox? <laughs> don't worry, I remember. Thank you, though, Pero. I usually try and say that till the end. When the board game comes out, I'm, I'm going to set a timer to see how long it takes to see someone create a rule, create rules for a zombies mode. That'd be cool. Because I have the Risk Zombies board game. That's pretty cool. Make a point of the review to guarantee survival after death without using favorite cards to get a perkholic to a point. Yeah. Have you watched Testy Moon at all? The guy makes cod zombies. I have. He shows him this channel a lot. I talked to him a lot, helped him out his videos. I saw his BO3 video. I really enjoyed it. It reminded me a lot of me when I made my IW video. So I hope that his videos continue to get better and better. It'd be really cool to see more people kind of pop out of the woodworks and share their opinions on this funky little game. You know what? No, we're not doing that. Gimme, gimme. Like COD Zombies Risk? Yeah, maybe I'll play it on stream one day. I don't know if it'll be fun or not for a good stream, but I'll think about it. It felt like zombies we could randomly come crawlers. Okay, so Neil, the way that this works is that the way zombies work in this game is that you can basically give off their body parts if you shoot at it enough. Watch this. You need to shoot that guy's legs off. Okay, I might have to use this. I'm going to be too high. Basically, if you shoot at the legs enough, this is a really bad example. If I had the mauler here, it'd be so easy to show off. Basically, the way that giving works is that you can basically shoot off legs. You can do this in Cold War 2, actually. But for most Treyarch games, you can only make crawlers with explosives. IW allowed you to make crawlers by shooting zombies in specific parts of their bodies. That's why you can shoot off arms in almost every single game. In IW and Cold War, you can also shoot off legs to make crawlers. It has very detrimental effects. Love to ops gorilla in one of the um, in one of the main maps as a boss or even a cameo. That'd be so cool. Like to push that thing out of dead ops and to put it into a zombies map would be so awesome. I think you can, I think you can only just remember one limb per zombie. If that makes sense. Yeah, usually one limb. I know with like legs being considered either one or both legs, but they both make crawlers. You got a good PC. We consider switching to playing on it. Never. Oh my gosh. So I have played on PC before and my PC isn't good enough apparently because if I try and play PC while also streaming zombies and streaming the game, I've just had times where it just doesn't want to work. It's so annoying. Okay. Oh, crystal, right. <laughs> That, like, it, it doesn't seem to work, and I don't think it'd be fun. Am I playing on Xbox? I am. I love Xbox. I think it's a great console to play on. It also doesn't turn to a jet engine like the PS4, and it also has people I play with on, like, the PS5. Also, I just think Xbox is better consoles, but that's just me. <laughs> Hbox, Hexbox. Oh my gosh, Chris Chan. The damage limb doesn't scale with zombie health, so you can just remember a leg with normal gun at around 100? Yeah. Maybe all the god games coming on Game Pass will also enable cross compatibility. They will literally never do that. Cross compatibility, besides Cold War and Vanguard, is never coming for old console titles. So it's a nice thought, but... End of the day. Hmm, whatever. Running away from crawlers despawns them. Yeah, that's the problem, is that you despawn crawlers. All right, where's Box? It's time to go for the Mauler, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Hey, Molly. How are you? Leave me an easy way to end the round. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, Xbox is, is uh, maybe good, but it doesn't have PlayStation exclusives. That's the big thing. Are those exclusives cool to you? Great. I have never looked at a single PlayStation exclusive and thought, I need to get a PlayStation for this. So it's entirely up to people preference choice, basically. So it's like, do you care about those exclusives? Great. If COD Zombies became an exclusive, well, then you'd know I'd be playing PlayStation. But thankfully, it's not. Nor will it ever happen. So I think we should, I think I'll be fine. And like, Zombies is the only game I play on this anyways, so. In fact, the, the thing I love about the new Xbox playing BO2 on the newest Xbox with better frame rates. Oh my God, it's so nice. Playing backwards compatibility 360 games on the newest console, that right there is the selling point for me over PlayStation, easily. Even if I did want to play it. 
I play on Steam. Most people do. The good majority of people do. The Activision Blizzard deal went through, so you never know. The only thing stopping cross compatibility might have been Sony or Microsoft playing Stingy. Good point. We'll find out, I guess. Ghost of Tsushima is the only game I'm jealous of on PlayStation. Ah, I didn't know it was an exclusive. Oh my gosh, guys. Lee Ross cameo. Oh my god. Anyways. The Xbox Sony debate is pointless. Each have games that are cool and fun. Oh my god. Will, that is so true. Bloodborne? I never played Bloodborne. I don't know what that is. It's not like Dark Souls, but like the first Dark Souls or something. I don't remember. We started up the backwards compatibility again so we can get more c compatible games. What do you mean? I thought everything was already compatible. Or are there still games that aren't compatible? That is, that'd be shocking. That they never like converted. I'd be shocked to hear that. Titan LMG when pack gives you crackhead movement speed? Really? Yo, the pogger. Oh my god, let's go. Bloodborne is gothic. Um, Lovecrafting Dark Souls X. S. Oh, EMC. Wait, can we use this? What do I have on it? I've got... Okay, just an automatic. Hey, is that good, man? <laughs> hey, Liam! How are you, man? Bloodborne is Dark Souls, but British? That's all I've ever heard about. That's always so funny to me. That's the comparison. I hope Malari is still here. Because I have it. I don't know if that's good, though. I got um, got automatic on it, so. Could be good. There it is. Cool. Oh, I already moved so fast with this thing. Oh, my goodness. I played Sister I wish I had Xbox for Hi Fi Rush and Gears of War and Starfield. I didn't know Starfield was an exclusive. It's cool if it is. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I, I don't know how lo the Lucky 7 variant of the MC C works in pack. I know this is the Lucky 7 variant. Oh, Brawler. Okay. The Hunter is simply checking if the bosses have tele license. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got a tele license, mate. You got a license for that. Yeah, okay, well. Well, there's genuinely only one way to find out now, isn't there? Let's end this round. I'll keep the wind core for a bit. Let's back watch this thing. Because now I'm kind of curious. Does this work? There's only one way to find out. I can climb to the top of the charts with this. Also, I'm, I'm not getting rid of this uh, wind core yet. <laughs> I need it for a little bit longer. Wait, what am I doing? We don't have double pap. Why am I saving money? I'm so silly. A lot were made compatible, but there are plenty of still non compatible. I didn't know that. Wow. COD games, there, there's still some COD games up behind. Why am I paying attention? Oh my god, I could have died. I'm not dumb. I'm so good at this game. Okay, cool. Halo, combat evolved. Oh, I did. The original Halo is not backwards compatible? Insane. Would not have expected that. Is Adam the best? Hey, uh, wait, is Adam the best customer service staff person you've ever seen? Hey, Adam, how are you, man? Guys, we had Michael from work here earlier. We now have Adam from work here earlier. Oh my God. Hey guys, can we all, can we tell Adam that he sucks? Thanks. Guys, it's okay. Adam's not gonna care. Can we to have, you know, my boss look at this later and she's gonna be like, why are you telling your chat to be mean to one of our coworkers? Cannot wait. Be so funny. I know switchable switchblade version of it actually makes the MC worse. Switchblade turns into a shotgun when packed up single player here. Hmm. Also, wind core. I thought um, you um, didn't think it should be called the wind core. What did I say? I don't care. Hey, whatever I'm saying in the past, that's in the past. That's not me anymore. I'm current me. Current me is calling this thing the wind core. So. Fart core. That sucks too. All COD and Halo games are backwards compatible. Okay. 
Gotta stop ending this round. You know what? Let's just do it. Okay. Give it away. Fall it over. Let's go. Oh my god, we got pink orb. We gotta catch the thing now. <laughs> Second disc for download disc for Call of Duty is not backwards compatible. I'm so glad you know this specifically. Please, bro. Why can't I put that on this one? Oh my god. Okay. Ooh, hold on. That's actually kind of good. Oh, it's got that. It's got the auto seeker. Oh wait, this is actually kind of. <laughs> this is a real thing. Okay, this is so specific and niche. I'm also already out of ammo. This is kind of fun though. Not gonna lie. I wish I had extended mags on this thing. Please don't kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. Okay, I'm freaking out a little chat. I just spent like the past two hours going for this thing, so I might gush over it a little bit more than I should. This thing is so stupid. It's literally... Okay, we're on insta-kill, but it's insta-killing them. See, this is the space on gameplay that I come for. Oh, you can put it on one weapon. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Let's go get that wind core back real quick, shall we? The exquisite stands for exceptional. It's apparently decent, so. Think your problem is wanting to play Ghost in the first place? Okay, Extinction is so much fun, okay? OST. Such a good game. Maybe the boss would recommend nabbing the Banshee off the wall and um, in spawn putting the quiz on it. Cool, okay. The Xbox stands for X Games, does it now? Does it? Cool, I didn't expect that. That was the shortest round of my life. Oh my god. This better be worth it. I can get rid of all these. Okay, let's go find Hoth while we're at it. Oh my god, Sentry Turret. Wow, anyways. No, no, where is the thingy? Now where's Hoth, man? If I want to grab a rewind grenade for an ammo refill, what do you mean an ammo refill? What would a rewind grenade have to do with that? The exquisite stands for H-Box. You know, if um, if another guy was here, he would uh, he would say, you know, it stands for the care of the box. Yeah, guys, where's Last Gen BO3? Where's that backwards compatibility? All I'm going to say is if Last Gen BO3 had backwards compatibility, I would 100% play it on stream. But I'm not about to bust out the 360. Using a rewind grenade refills ammo, you're actually lying to me. There's no way that does that. Right? If it is, I'll go pick it up. Where do we get him? So no exquisite is. So basically, Aiden, it's this massive, um, it's a little arcane attachment you put on the front of your gun. You have to get all the other stuff to do it. And it's really overpowered. Um, and it causes zombies to catch on fire. Your bullets to have a thunder wall effect. It reflects off the wall. It gives you more ammo. It makes your um, clips bigger. It um, makes you do more damage, believe it or not. So. This is where like buried time bombs, I think so. Well, first of all, I need to... Care of the Box mentioned and it wasn't even this... It wasn't me this time. Long live the game of kings. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Just be happy I mentioned it, okay, um, Lucio? Now explain Fortnite terms? No. <laughs> you don't get Fortnite terms. Basically, imagine that your gun went from epic to legendary. Or legendary... I don't remember which one it is. See the legendary... Epic, epic... Or legendary epic. I don't remember. Infinite damage range? Yeah, yeah. So basically, like, it never falls off damage range wise. So I can fire it from like this far away and it still has the same amount of damage if it was up close. Anyways, where do I buy a rewind grenade from? Hey, buddies. Okay. It's annoying. Don't do this to me. Thank you. Explain it in Wonder Weapon compar in comparisons. Um, like it's not as good as a Wonder Weapon, but for I dub for Space Lane, which doesn't have a good Wonder Weapon, um, it's really good. It's like if we, you know, got oh, <laughs> I don't know. The way I've heard it described it, it's like double pack punch basically on a map where we can't naturally get double pack punch easily without like specific requirements. Rewinds are in the little carts when you buy Arcane cores. Do you know which one, or is it random? 
There it is. Cool. Found it. Okay. Cool. Get out of my way. Thank you. Anyone who has interest in playing the first COD or the big red one should, um, should have an Xbox 360. Yeah, but I think it'd be nice. It just adds more options for people is the big thing. So, Quick question. How much ammo should I be expecting to get back with this thing? Cool. Random just check around. I found it. Oh my god, there's still more songs. What am I even doing? Let's go. Okay, let's get that wind core and we can go. Full? Okay, good to know. Yeah, doesn't it just like rewind your steps, basically? Now, is it my steps or is it the zombie steps as well? Because I can imagine myself using it and instantly teleporting into a horde. Imda grenades is now max ammo? Yeah, I guess it is. Although we only have one, so even if we use it, I'm pretty sure we're out of it once it's used. So it doesn't even matter, but it's funny. Shoot the ground without hitting zombies for an explosive effect. Oh, really? Hey, you lied to me. Although we do move really fast, which is super nice. Like, I always forget how fast pistol movement speed is. Okay, well, anyways, while we wait for those to go spawn like him. I meant the wind core. Oh, okay. Only yours, just walk in a circle and use it. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay, that's okay. Are we grenades only in the first two maps? Um, because they're too overpowered. They're used for like a lot of exploits, so I think it's got rid of them. Now explain it in Minecraft terms. Okay, imagine like you just got sharpness five over sharpness three on your weapon now, okay? Like on your sword. That's pretty much what it is. Hello, friend who why do you drop from the ceiling? I didn't know that. If I did, I didn't pay attention. What's the wind core? Okay. They're infinite raid the redwoods because the bear you can get So it is one each round. I need I've been needing to ask that because I've been needing to test it. Whenever you do camp challenges and they re and the challenges like, you know. When you take a grenade, it's just one full round. Then it respawns, right? Okay, I'm not going to die. Every two rounds. Thank you. Cool. So I assume it's the round that you grab it and then like one full round afterwards, essentially. That's what it sounds like to me. Oh my god, why do you have so much health? Bro, those fat zombies be eating the protein bars. They're a little too bulky. <laughs> okay, this thing is greedy. Okay. It's actually the explosive core, but the community says yellow on the core and thought, oh, wind staff? Yeah, I mean, okay, the effect looks like a thunder gun. That's where I get my word from. Because it looks like it's blowing them away, so that's like, that's my kind of first thought about it. Okay, boss fight. Let's go. Okay, get me out of here. Cool. All right, let's do it. Explaining Crusader terms, um, we've not only retaken the Holy Land, God has given us level up. Red, green, yellow, blue. So back, all right. Back, middle, that's so annoying. Back, middle, Kepler, journey. Okay, so back, middle, Kepler, journey. All right, let's do this. Back, middle, Kepler, oh, it's right there. Of course it is. I literally cannot get, <laughs> literally couldn't get to it in time. Love this game. Anyways, let's kill this thing. Where's my brute? Bro, this thing is literally not gonna know it's gonna hit it. Hey, buddy. Okay, anyways. Cool. 
Let's do it again. Don't do what I did and actually, and actually be careful of where the aliens. Be mindful of the zombies. It would be tragic if you die because you got cocky. Yeah, I'm definitely not planning on dying. Piss Corey. All right. Imagine getting a chain gun at the start instead of a pistol, but you need to beat Nightmare difficulty. So this... Okay, back. Middle. Okay, I'm going to run on the other side this time. Left. Yeah, I got this. Okay, let's do it. So back, middle, journey. No. It's Kepler then journey. Well, I actually got to go around. Mm, yeah, there's really nothing I can do there. I hate that spot. Interview with IW Zombies weapon lead designer. Kent um, said that they removed rewriting so they were really hard to code. That does not shock me. Explain it in Dark Souls terms? No, you don't even get an explanation for it in Dark Souls terms. I don't play Dark Souls. Please die. God. Bye, buddy. Wait, one of you gives me a max ammo, right? Who is it? First zombie kill should give me max ammo. Oh, I have no max. Must be after sex. Max, that's fine. What about Monopoly terms? I'm about to not explain it to you guys. You can keep trying until the white lights disappear. No, it's forcing me to not do it. That's the issue. Like, it's not letting me. Or do you mean, like, I can enter in the code and then immediately after try again if I, like, don't do it fast enough? Please, 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 please. Thank you. Let's go around here at this point. Oh, my God. That took way too long. Explaining Killer Bean terms. Killer Bean just got another weapon. Don't think you only have one try. I do. I know you don't, but it's, I'd just rather not. Especially because all the zombies are, like, discombobulated. First will always be yellow, second blue, third green, fourth. I didn't know that. Huh. Cool. Isn't the patterns different for the UFO always? Okay. Green was middle. So, green is... Yeah, so it's going to be Middle, Journey, Kepler. No. It was one of them. I'll figure it out. I got this. Watch. This one's going to be blue. Eh, I got it wrong. Okay, that was on me. <laughs> I couldn't remember which one it was. Explain COD zombies terms and... Wait. Explain COD zombies terms. I've lost the initial... I, I, oh, my God. I'm... Dude, the heat must have gotten me today. I can't read anymore. <laughs> Explain it in neurotoxin terms. Bro, the neurotoxins are in my brain at this point. Where is he? Hey, buddy. Die. Go. Bye, buddy. Okay. Okay, so middle Kepler journey back. Cool, I got this. All right. So maybe the subway sandwich meme of a weapon explanations. Yeah, honestly. Okay, so it should be middle Kepler. Yeah, middle Kepler. hate those guys. Oh, that's annoying, Neil. I'm gonna die if I hit that. Oh, I hit the last second. That's okay. <laughs> See what I mean when you get like one second to hit it? Explain it in Florida terms? Bro, I got another alligator. That's the term. Explain it in Ohio terms? No. You got that? I did apparently. I shock myself sometimes. Thanks, Neil. Explaining gibberish terms. This whole stream has been gibberish. I might as well just repeat the stream at this point. Okay. All right. Kepler. Kepler um, journey. That is What is going on today? Kepler journey, middle back. Okay. Kepler journey, middle back. Okay. This has been irritating. Like, can I get a... Can I get a consistent code? Oh, I did the other one. Oh, wait, wait. Journey Kepler? Okay, I keep messing up the colors. <laughs> Why can't I? I should have just made Journey Blue. If only I knew. Okay, anyways. Taking what I said out of context. Yeah. I'm only taking it out of context, brother. I'm just not reading anymore. <laughs> I ain't understanding or processing. If that makes sense. And honestly, hey, we got this EMC. So you know what? The, he's not even going to survive. Even if we do get a brood, it gives me time to focus. Feel better about it anyways. Okay. 
So, Journey Kepler, because Journey is yellow. What is yellow? <laughs> you always be slipping Jimin, brother. I'm so, if the lights are still light, yeah. Okay, so it's going to be Kepler, Journey. It's this one. Oh, my God. Middle, and then back. I got this now. All right, let's do it. Wait, I did do that right last time. I'm just an idiot. And we're done. All right. Cool. Go. Cool. Brutes aren't really a threat with this gun. Yeah, I can tell. Bro, they melted. I'm just going to use this for a bit. I ain't dealing with that EMC. It's got too small of a clip. The Ancient Evil intro, there's just snake statues in front of the gates of Delphi. Oh, there is now. I didn't know that. That's cool. I mean, if I was the Oracle and I was trapped down there for a few thousand years, I'd commission some snake statues. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's kill this guy. M1 shreds brutes and ammo can be bought. That's all I love about the M1. It's just because I back I can buy ammo. It's so nice. So I don't have to worry about like wasting it. Which is like one of like, it's one of the map's biggest problems because you don't have double pap, you can't use ammo. So it's such a good thing the M1 is so good with these cores. Some cards. Okay, let's see how well this works on him. It's gonna take me a bit to so stay with me. Okay, guys. I'd also love it if Hoff could just leave. <laughs> you know, really didn't mean to activate him. Really should stop doing all those challenges. Please leave. I do not like you. You stop doing that. Thanks. Okay, clowns can blow up for all I care. Okay. Play RE7 on stream. I did RE8. I had a lot of fun with that. I probably should play RE7. RE7's fun. I don't want to be that guy. How could you hate the Hoff? He's too charismatic. I love the guy. He ain't helping right now. Hey, buddy. I don't want to be that guy. Don't aim hip fire. Oh, hip fire. Got it. My mistake. Sorry, the bolts are so, like, random-y. Ah, I'm starting to see now. I see the error of my ways. Don't let him hand slap. Don't let him land shots on you, please. I've already red screened twice. I'm surprised I'm even alive. After all this work we've done tonight, too. That'd be really sad. Where'd he go? Come on, buddy. Land down here. Hmm. I love this guy. If you like playing RE8, you'll hate Security Breach, the worst game. That's funny. Okay, where is he? Okay, went to yellow. Okay, I was about to be a little mean to it. This thing is actually doing some damage, at least. You know, maybe a pistol wouldn't be good backup, but whatever. Every shot aim bots. Um, so Tiger, but he's being truthful. Basically, any weapon with these, like with this crosshairs, anything in the range will always auto hit on target. Like, watch. See, like it hit that. It's hitting these zombies, even if I'm not shooting at them directly. He's 100% right with what he says. Please don't die and bust the myth. No, he's absolutely right. Like, they, like Malari is 100% telling the truth with what he's been saying all night. And this is still doing better damage than most weapons, so. I mean, the gun owning the alien. I wouldn't say owning's the right word. I also don't have any of the right attachments on it, too. That's another thing you gotta understand. Where it's like, with his attachments, he's got everything on this weapon. I don't have everything on the EMC, which would probably help me out a bit. Also, I wasn't really hit firing the entire time. Can you please stop? Appreciate that. Yeah, that's a really nice use. I'm already about ammo though, so we better make this count. 
<laughs> I'm writing everything I write in chat at all times. Yeah, especially when there's a carrot in the box. Also, seems to be doing a lot of damage to the alien, so I'm trusting him on it. Like, it's doing way more than most standard weapons would do on him. You only did melee hit back once at the MC. After that, it'll be good to shoot him on the roof. Cool. Yo, guys, thank you, Change Shoes. Oh my god. <laughs> Five eighteen fifty on the portal radio ten rope. I know that is. But I think the Spaceland alien is just a reskin ancestor. You wouldn't be wrong. He's not though, if I'm not mistaken. He's his own model. Although it looks very similar. Very sus. Cause if you're looking, I'm not even like aiming in his direction. The bolts are always hitting him. So that's been pretty nice. Pumpkin eating Easter egg. I hate pumpkin. Anyways, how are you on Blue Speed? Welcome to the stream. Well, they are both aliens. They are both aliens. Hey, technically, the ancestors aren't aliens. They've always been on Earth. I will not be taking this ancestor slander. Okay, bye. The beast boss isn't an ancestor cringe. It really should have been. That would have been so cool. I mean, granted, there's nothing you could do with it that'd be interesting, but it'd be so cool. Because it would not work in a zombies mode whatsoever. No way the alien was beast foreshadowing? No. Very proud, I believe in you. I got this, brother. I should be fine. Can't wait to use the M1, and then we're completely out of luck. I also like if you could appear in this. I'm going to change my cycle pathing. Maybe that'll help. Oh my god, he could have easily put, thrown me into that horde. Where's my music? Oh, that's not flying, that's why. Come on, buddy, just land. Hey, what time did you use? Yeah. I should have been a starting map on all. I know. Why wasn't the M1 a starting weapon on all maps? It'd be so nice. Get out of my way. Come on, we're at. What's even the strategy for the alien? We're using a, a arcane core. On the EMC. It's supposed to do a lot of damage. I also don't have every attachment on this thing. I'm also told that knocks out both of his fuses. So we'll find out in a second if that's true or not. Because apparently if you pop both... The, if you like kill him with... If you down him with a normal weapon, it pops both fuses. So I'm going to find that out right now. That's real or not. <laughs> what do I think EMC stands for? Erm... Um, Minecraft. That's what it stands for. You're welcome. What's the what's what's the animation base for the alien come from the ancestor in extinction with some additional ones being repurposed from oiled up point dexter throwing it back i believe that did now and shaw find prematuria in cambodia they do in the comics you can see where it happens yes oh my god i was ran to a corner stanley is running my setup minus lack of full auto is it not full auto i'm holding on the trigger Source? The source is the game. Okay, so apparently if this should work, he shouldn't have a thing anymore. I'll loan to him now. Okay, cool. You got it. You also keep in mind, I have never leveled up this thing. So maybe if I had more attachments on it, I might do better. I have never seen him drop into those fences before. That's cool. Yeah, you're also going to notice I have really bad aim. Okay. That should not have happened. I'm surprised I lived. 
<laughs> run, uh, I'll be fine. Okay, get over here, buddy. Time to die. Okay, so I mean that some of the newer CODs you can put scopes and dual weapons. That's so funny. Because it just shows a complete disregard for stuff like that. I think that's hilarious at the end of the day. Wouldn't that mean that there are gods outside of Norse, Greek, and Celtic, and Egyptian if the are pretty is in... I think it's implied that it's in all countries, even if the gods aren't prey to there. That makes sense. He's almost dead. Cool. Alright. The stream is slowly starting to inspire me to reinstall IW to unlock the Hawk. Do it. Not bad, yeah. If you have the Calamity version, I would, I would use that just for extended mags. Okay. Only that one has extended mags? Yikes. Don't let the bombs directly hit you. They can deal max damage if they hit you. Two hits? Yeah, I know. Wait, what do you mean bombs? He just throws bombs at you? Do you mean the shots, right? Do you mean actual bomb? Does he throw bombs? No, he doesn't. Okay, well, if this is true, this should kill him soon. So we're out of ammo, so let's find out. Because, like, he's almost dead, so this really should kill him when we... Okay, that's nice. Where is he? Don't die? Yeah, good. His energy bombs when he's on the roof? I didn't know that. Cool. There's only three major pantheons of gods present in the Chaos. Greek, Norse, and Russman. Russman! Alright, all right, so let's, let's let's do this. It's five gods, Celtic. I don't think Celtic's implied. I think Celtic's only implied to be combined with um, or not Celtic. Uh, what am I thinking of? I forget the name of it. Rip. Oh yeah, those things he throws you on the roof. What things? Is that what slows you down? Oh, okay. Well, this is it. Okay, let's do it. Hey, maybe we get some ammo back from this, you know? Let's try this, you know? We got it. I'll use it. Well, either we win or we lose. And I'm a bit of a loser. Wow, he is dead. Wow, so it does knock out both um thingies. Right. Oh, he still has a fuse. Oh, so it's a glitch. Oh. Hmm. Well, what do you know? It's now or never? Well, I guess it's now. Hey, that's how we do it around here. Also, that UFO is going to massacre me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yay. Single pap too. Wow, guys, we did it. Woo it's real so apparently chat if what you do is if you knock out um if you down him with a normal weapon that's gonna kill me if you down him with a normal weapon only it'll knock out both fuses cool get the, get jug quick and i'll get it later Not too many of those ones okay hmm that's bad let's get out of here Okay, now we have the little pat fuses. Oh my god. Get me out of spawn. Okay, well, we did it. I would never let you down. He, hey, Malara, you never did. Although, I was in a very bit of an ammo deficit towards the end there. That was not helpful. But, you know what? I guess, you know, results are results, I suppose. Oh my god. Let me out of this area. Okay, we're good. Oh, well, the first fuse didn't seem to work on the second fuse. Hey, well, we won. That's all that matters. Do the grenades give you ammo? No, the rewind grenade does. Which we can only use one of because we can't get it multiple in the boss fight unless we're super lucky and spawn to spawn. I'm going to unlock the Hoff now. Hey, honestly, just use a normal strategy with the M1 in the corner and get like a head cut or something. I don't think this is worth it because you have to get all the exquisites. 
Is that worth it? I don't think so. But hey, you know what? Teach them. I was gonna say, please let me upgrade this thing. <laughs> like this thing is good, but like I have to build all the exquisite cores. So, okay. Let's get out of here. Do I have anything that's close to being made? Nope. Okay. What's the quickest? Right, we can do uh, yeah, we do shredder. Let's get that out. Okay, the thing is, this weapon is really good. There's just not a very good way to get ammo. So you just need to fire a laser pistol in Space Lantern's arc? Yeah, pretty much. I can't wait to see the outro cutscene. Oh my gosh, I love outro cutscenes. I hope my favorite map zombies in Space Land has one. Right. Okay, that's the thing. Okay, this thing is disgusting, first of all. But, like, the amount of work I'm putting in for this thing, oh my god. And only one gun can hold an exquisite core unless you glitch. That makes sense. Hey, Parker Davis. I hope my favorite map, the Archon, has one. I hope my favorite map, the Archon, has a cutscene. So true. Hmm. I mean, undeniably, this thing is amazing. Also, I'm leveling it up, which is nice. That wasn't even double tap. Right. Nah, it seems to be doing about the same. more reds cool okay yeah here's the only issue chat we didn't build a single uh space land. please reload i would like to i would like to say okay now i was recording that just so you know so let's go back let's 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 take a look at jarvis pull up the footage how many times did my weapon reload itself like three hey uh rex how are you man good to see you could have used the M1? Yeah, I probably could have. I was also not, it was kind of in the moment, you know. I also thought my weapon would reload, you know, one of the three times it was supposed to. <laughs> you know, let's look at that real quick, Jarvis, shall we? Hey, we beat the boss. Let's say, let's say day over for now. Remember if we go quickies again? Yeah, I guess not. My quickies was the gun doesn't reload three times, apparently. Let's watch that back, shall we? Just, just for my sake, I'm watching this again, okay? Okay, so let's look at this how this goes. Congrats, Stanley. I knew you had any. Thanks, man. Last year, ride to Texas? Of course. Hey, if you're going, Trenton. Appreciate you showing up. All right. Fails once. Try again. Fails twice. Try again. Fails three. Three <laughs> times. What was I supposed to do in that situation? Maxis is a super lit Easter egg. Yeah, I was recording transit footage. I finally got that for Maxis. Like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? It's incredible. Third time's the charm. I guess it is. Bro, Hasselhoff was like, oh, slipped out. Oh, slipped out. Oh, got it this time. Appreciate the stream course, Malari. I'm happy at least I got to try it. It does work effectively, but it has ammo issues. Oh my god, that is so painful to watch. Whoo. Anyways, let's see. Let's look up some crates all right, shall we? Crate numero uno. Mauled harder. I'm going to maul twice as hard now. What face and fortune cards do we get, though? Classic FPS moment. It really is. Yo, second wins. I just used one of those. Oh, my gosh. Two explosive touches. Wow. And actually, wait. That was actually really good. Hold on. Right. You can't see what you got. Anyways. um, And two um of the things that do double damage. Wow. So cool. Where's my AMC? Right. Yeah, I had auto sear on it. Uh, what can we put on it? Hey, Malari, what's some good, uh, what's some good attachments for this thing? You know, just no reason. Kimbo? Okay. I assume... Far Day Slug, what? A Kimbo? Okay. <laughs> um, Bob Singh. Switching to your rifle's always faster than reloading. Thanks, Gaz, from COD4. I don't know who that is. Wait, wasn't it fourth times the charm? Yeah, technically fourth. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, we got, we actually do have the one we have. In fact, we have the, the, the extra XP one. Farday slug. Cool. Wow. We do have the one that does give us increased ammo. Oh, I'm just that lucky. Apparently I have both of them. Fact. Trust me. will be at the head and that makes the difference. Cool. So like quick question is director cut camo unlock after being all the Easter eggs or being meth beat meth. 
Have fun. Yeah, have a good night, Lucio. All right, chat. What a, I would say disaster of a stream, but we did beat the aliens. So, like, technically, the BOGOs were binted. And for those of you who don't know what a BOGO is, it's a buy one, get one at Publix, which you can get right now for your local Publix. Why do you need meth for it? Because God hates all of us. Where's mine? I'm going to flex it at this point. Have fun practicing Mephistopheles for 12 hours. Have fun. All right, chat. That's not for me. I'm going to go jump off a bridge now. Y'all have a good night, and I'll see you all Tuesday. And remember, keep on slaying. Y'all have a good one.